Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have a returning special guest. It's your boy. It's your boy. It's your boy. Would you like you in- introduce yourself? Man, it's been a minute, ain't it? Yeah, man. I appreciate you guys having me back on. You know, I love this. I love this atmosphere. For this sure, room. for sure, yeah. I love being with you guys, you know, it's been a minute. Yeah, anytime you hit us up, man, we'll go right live, man, hey, whenever you ask. I'm always a big fan. <clears throat> yes, love sir. it. Appreciate you for following us uh, since the beginning. Hey, Absolutely. I appreciate everything yeah. you guys are jump. doing. Since the jump, bro. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah, man. All right, brother. So, fill us in, man. What's going on? We haven't seen you in, has it been almost a year? Has it? Has it? No. No, we didn't even nah, we didn't see you for, for New Year's. Year. Nah, though, yeah, that's true. The last time you were here was when you debated David or you came out? No, we did the credit episode. Yeah, because yeah. remember, I started Publix in February. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Year. That's true. Wow. So we haven't, and that was, yeah, that was before you came because the system manager was somewhat different. Then uh, you slid over. And yeah, I can't remember his I remember name. When you came through. Yeah. So I had. Like it's been, I don't know. I think it has been a, a couple of months, maybe mm-hmm. six, seven months, but mm-hmm. not a year. Yeah, because yeah. I remember. Yeah, because the last episode we did was how to fix your credit. Yeah. So that 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 has been a minute though. See, that's that's how you know time flies when you ain't no, paying attention fast. to it, man. Especially if you're doing good things. Yeah. So what's up, man? Give us an update. What's been going on with you? Well, I mean, I guess just growing, still trying to figure out things to do to be better. You know, trying to grow a little bit this year more mm-hmm. than last year but i mean it's kind of hard when you have so many goals that you that i had last year that i kind of accomplished so it's been pretty much cruise mode mm-hmm. how for... do you keep yourself like motivated like, to keep moving forward what's going on smoke how smoke, are we doing it's not big dog. welcome welcome Dang, quick man it's not dog Snipers. what's going on that was pulling off super quick yeah we love it yeah um i guess the way to the way to stay motivated i guess is just it's not to be motivated, but it's just a way to be consistent. Mm-hmm. You know, just try to try to keep hold yourself accountable. Try to make stuff you know interesting, challenging. I guess because you never want to be complacent. Don't want to get too bored. Yeah. You know, make some challenges that are kind of tough and at least mean something to you. You know, nothing too boring. Mm-hmm. Like you know, get yourself a gift. You know, or get yourself like some crazy stuff that's really not that hard to get. So, I, I don't know. I, I kind of just, you know, like I said, um, I guess the, the new thing about me is that I, I got a new car, you know? Yes, got a, sir. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's I mean, what's up. Oh, one second, one second. Oh. Let's welcome I Am Shrimp. I Am Shrimp. How are you? Hey. squad Shrimp. reporting in. Welcome, welcome. What's up? Welcome, what's welcome. Up? Glad to have you in. We'll go ahead, brother. Uh, yeah, I guess the biggest thing for me this year mm-hmm. was get buying that car because I've been like, I've always tried to like own my own thing and not have to have a payment, you know, always kind of bought. So you buy straight up cash? I, no, I used to. I oh, used to okay. always oh. buy straight up cash, but this car now, Use this their one, I went to and financed it. So Okay, uh, that's what's up. That's how you do yeah, it. Yeah, so, that, so, one's, so that one's kind of new. I just wanted something, you know, a little bit grown up, you know, try to get myself... I feel that you know prepare for even more stuff as well. Mm-hmm. So got now, now is that something you want to take your time like paying off, or are you just gonna? No, I want to pay that thing off, man. Super quick. I, I really that. do. I don't. But he's that. also building his credit at the same right, time, right? Too. Right? Yeah. So you don't want something like that to just drag on, you know, like for the yeah, because it's like that car comes with a lot of stuff. Like it comes with a big insurance, you know, mm-hmm. car payment, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that debt on your credits too is just, you know, your debt to income should be, you know, don't want to have it too high. You know, don't want to have big finances on your credit if you, you know, looking for something bigger in the future. Mm-hmm. So 
I, as soon as I pay that car off, I just want to get a simple insurance policy because my insurance now is up there. You know, <laughs> I, I know. That right. I know how you feel. My car is not like new. When it's new, you got to get that full. You coverage. what? Full coverage. Yeah, right. don't want to have that too many, too too long. So. And yo, it red too. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, they say that doesn't have anything to do with it. Really? Why that's is bullshit. My insurance that's, so high? They always say white, <laughs> who, who red. Who comes up with this? Nah, shit? that's what I'm saying. They say who white, the red, and 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 uh, black is uh, the the ones that you're gonna get the most expensive insurance on. And they say your age too. So I got out of that age <sighs> bracket because I'm, I'm 28 now, so I'm not that young anymore. That's so. that's a lie because I'm like 33 and I'm still paying high for my insurance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my car's paid off. <laughs> hey, how we doing, Ego Chocolate? Ego, welcome, brother. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Yeah. Like, I remember growing up. Oh, shit. Brother B. Michael. Yeah. What's good, well, Mike? Here. Yeah. We got the game pulling up. Okay. Look at that, man. Drive by us, man. Glad to have you here. Yeah, because, like, I don't know, man. It's, like, what are some of those myths you were told, like, growing up? You they, know, about a lot. things that change when you're an adult. I agree. Yeah. Like it's, it's, you can get pulled over for having the inside lights on. Lights like, on. Yep, I remember oh, that. I remember that. Heck? I remember uh, my mom, mom would pull the car over if we ended up turning on the light or something like that. So is there such a thing as cheap insurance in Florida? Hell, it's not, dog. There's no such thing as cheap Fam, insurance. the governor sold us to yeah, the insurance for sure. company. That's like under because we're a no fault state, so yeah, it doesn't matter if you've never gotten into a car accident. Yeah. Your insurance, your insurance rates are going to go up because every time you yeah. call them and say, "Can I take something off to make it cheaper?" They're like, "Unfortunately, because we're a no fault state, the do." I think about that all the yeah. time too. Like, damn, if someone hits me, man, I might have to. I feel that. I, I gotta, I gotta make sure I jump out the car and get the license plates and everything, man. I gotta. I've been what you, about it, man. What you think that would deter people from like driving? Crazy. Yeah, but then there's a lot. Of Is it good? Yes. Yeah, so there's yeah, a lot of people that don't have insurance. So you gotta yeah. make sure you, you know, what I'm saying, avoid them people too. I feel that. A lot of people. There's a lot. Not here in Fort Myers, but you go down to Miami, Fort Lauderdale. They'll no risk it all. Know, they, <laughs> They know, man. That's not their car. You yeah. Know? They, no, no, you're right. You're yeah. right. And then a lot of them are coming down cars, to Southwest so. Florida, too. So a lot of them don't have insurance. So it's like every time you see a car hit you and then they run, mm -hmm. that's how you yeah. automatically know they ain't right. got insurance. Right. Yeah, I'd be scared of that. They, nah, that's crazy. Let's see. Another thing that I used to believe was this guy named Latrell. He's the one that taught me how to. He's the one that at least let me drive his car. And he was one of those guys that was just like frightened of everything. Like he's like, don't don't drive too fast, don't do this, don't do that <laughs> turn. Like it was really hard. I was like, bro, you're the worst driving Thank that, instructor. Thanks, Dad. Oh, thanks, man. Dad. The worst ever. No, I'm dead. I was switching my lanes. Like I was going on under the light, and I switched my lane under the light. He was like, bro, you can get arrested for that. You can get pulled over for that. Oh, he's no, paranoid. No, no, no. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. It's true, but That's he's like true. paranoid, I didn't, paranoid. I didn't so know not, that. Yeah, I didn't know that you couldn't. Mm. Because they're technically at an intersection. There's no lanes. Mm -hmm. So you can't, like, lane change in an intersection. Yeah, like, that's, I, I, and I, I don't do that either. Because it's yeah, like, never, when you first learn something, like, everything you learn is, like, your base. Mm -hmm. Until right. you, like, it's hard to get rid of those bases. Like, even if you're a kid, you might believe something that's not true. But because you're so early on, you're always going to have that superstition paranoid no matter oh, what. Oh, yeah, for sure. I agree with that. Yeah. So. Blasphemous Nugget, Blasphemous how we doing? Here. The Reaper oh. army in this bitch. Appreciate you for it, showing bro. up, bro. Thank you, thank you. But uh, it's not dog. Once the lane is solid, the intersection in the intersection at the intersection oh, at the intersection you can't change. You can't yeah, that's change. true. But yeah. a lot, I don't think a lot of people know that though. So they'll go ahead and do it without even knowing that they can. But I feel that. yeah, so I kind of change right after I get behind the light, and I'm like. Right, Go I'll right. start put, putting my signal, but once that line, like, once I get to that other side, I'm immediately changing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, and me, I always stay in the middle or the left lane, because I don't trust nobody on the right side. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, no, nah, right right lane is cursed. Right? No, you got to use your precognition and just see the future before you, uh, you, like, watch all the vehicles near you before you get hit by any it's one bad. of them. It's I'm just, bad. hey. He said, some okay, supernatural so shit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, man, I'm glad to see you guys. So what's changed? What's been happening? What's popping in? Like, I mean, we've been fasting. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I guess now I've been watching podcasts, so it's like I pretty much 
try to stay updated anyways. No, yeah. I feel that. No, I feel, I feel like that. You guys always talk about your days and I'll be here. Oh, no, I feel that. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, we've been fasting, just trying to, like, do things differently. Mm -hmm. um, we're seeing good results with the channel. We've been trying different things. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of a lot of the, I'd say, the formulas we implemented. At Get the, closer to the mic, Joe. A lot of the formulas we implemented at the beginning of our entire, you know, production are kind of paying dividends. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, as we kind of scale how we, you know, do the, the, the broadcast. So... Like just kind of looking at that, like that that feels good. That's a really good feeling, and yeah. and then that, and that's kind of something we saw coming. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, near the end of last year, we're like, I don't know, something feels different. Like, <laughs> yeah, we kept saying? saying that, man. Like, yeah, this year's like, gonna be different. Twenty twenty four is gonna gonna be different for a lot of people. You know, what I'm saying whether it's good or bad, you know, but we're we're all. I feel like we're gonna learn something this year. Yeah, I love it. 2024 you know is such an even number man. right it, it just feels right you know what i'm saying yeah that's why they hold olympics on 2024 right. they, like it's a leap the year you elections feel coming up like everything this year is just mm -hmm. you know special oh mm -hmm. yeah for sure for sure yeah definitely oh yeah so i guess uh vic ruined the the surprise yeah he's gonna be on thursday um to tell his story about everything that you guys have been asking him questions about but yeah um try to catch us on your phone while you're moving or <laughs> Put it in your uh, ear as a podcast. Oh, my boy's moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, yeah, you could sure. listen to it for on the sure. background, right? right. Uh, what does you that say? Saying, but... Jeff got new shirts in the rotation. Congrats! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> oh uh, thank, thanks, not dog. Yeah, I'm down I'm 32 dead. pounds, and I am still going. Hey, congratulations! Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. I um, I the average I try to lose every month is about four to six. Uh, last month was six pounds, so in total I'm down uh, 32. Hey, I used to always, in my heart, believe it's way easier to lose weight than to gain weight. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I yeah. was like, bro, I gained weight, man. I was like. You gained weight? Yeah. Bro. I went from 185 to like 196. Of muscle or bro. Like water? I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I just, this nigga. Oh, man, it's tough. This nigga said you know, he gained weight. Like, oh, I'm not. I'm probably 193, but I was like, bad. man, let me. Let 193 me shed of some, muscle. Some, like, what are we even talking about? Let me the, shed some weight, the right? Ultimate muscle. Oh, he talking about let me add extra layers oh, to my abs. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I started running. I started working out harder. Uh, I couldn't even lose what? weight. I was like, damn, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it ain't as easy as I thought. Like, I was like, oh, damn, man, man, I can't even lose a pound. Bro, as crazy. bad as like hovering 12 percent, 10 percent body fat. That, yeah, that's, yeah that's, uh, you I'm like, like nah bro you don't wild. need to lose weight man i was doing crunches i was running three miles a day oh I man was, i wish i could run three miles right, so a day like, what, ultimately what's your body goal like what are you like how are you trying to sustain your health he doesn't need it he's the zenith of the apex oh, yeah. <laughs> bro, stop glazing mind you again i was 95 pounds in high school like the only thing that made me gain weight and mm -hmm. get was competitive comp competition was the only thing that got me to the size i am now i feel it i guess the only thing that is holding me to the fitness standard that i am now is just making sure that i can always dominate at basketball okay that is the uh, only thing okay, I, I see what you're saying i never got big to just you know oh, i want to lift weights to get Nah, i never got big to do that i always got big was because i did a lot of leg workouts mm -hmm. and that translate into size because your legs is what's important that, that's where everything starts your yeah. legs your core and then everything. oh yeah for sure so for all sure. the right. squats and jumps and this and that and you know obviously started dip, dipping and dabbling mm -hmm. into the benching but it was always i used to go to la fitness a lot so mm -hmm. it was always basketball court being able to just go out there and dunk and run around and you know the competition was really you know everything to me so i feel that that's the only thing that holds if i if i ever go on the court and i can't hold my own yeah i'm back in the gym I'm like ah back. okay that, and, and that leads me to because i was gonna ask so like is that kind of your rubric for your state of health like yeah. i need to be able to keep up in basketball you know yeah i, I okay. always like if i go out there i can't dunk Oof. something's wrong i gotta go 
Mm-hmm. I gotta go back into the lab. I, I love that. Just, he doesn't yeah. say I gotta. I gotta pack it up. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, go. yeah. No, no, that's <laughs> good, man. That's in. really good. That. That's really that. good. So that's that. the only thing that my fitness is just based around basketball. I really don't really care about getting big. You know those steroid motherfuckers. You just want to lift. That's crazy. And All those scars on their back jump. and shit. Yeah. The pimples. I know a lot of people on steroids. It's not a good look for them, bro. You know, it's you, crazy. But it's so. Now it's just like what's well, like it's, with it's, every it's, drug now. You feel that's me? why I don't put. That's why you guys don't like, see me post a lot of right, workout videos right, anymore. Like, like I, I kind of got oversaturated with the. What's the new mom, thing? Uh, trend, trend or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of those guys are on it, man. They don't even look good, man. They just they just want to lift a lot of weight, and it's like you're a human being. You're not a you're not a factory machine equipment. Yeah, like you're just a human it. being. You're supposed to look good. You're not supposed to be able to. You know, go out there and lift six hundred pounds, bro. Like, you know nah, what I'm yeah. Like, Peak. what are you gonna do with it? Like, that's just that's Peak what. Human. Uh, Peak human. Yeah. yeah, that's the next thing I was gonna ask you about your your YouTube channel. Like, how how is that going? Because you just said that you kind of yeah. stepped a little bit back from it. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's, it hasn't gone anywhere. It's just kind of like, like I said, everything's been oversaturated with the fitness stuff. So mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. I really don't want to spend too much time on something that's like really just you know if everybody's doing it i just it just loses my interest you're like, basically just, saying what oh. makes mine different from theirs yeah it's like thing. i don't i don't feel like i even see it like i'll be on instagram it's like god damn another workout video I from this it. person <laughs> like god damn well, the, I, hey it's that algorithm Jeez, bro Christ. yeah you. it is it everything is, yeah. is all and 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 me and my brother were having that conversation how like Google SEO fucked up everything. It did. It did. Yeah. Because it ruined ev- like it, nothing is authentic anymore. Mm-hmm. It has to be so it can get in the algorithm. Yeah. You're now fighting to create content not for the sole purpose of genuinely creating content, mm-hmm. but for the purpose of I need to get in the algorithm. Well, cuz remember so, what they said. They said that YouTube has changed their strategy. They want to um help small content creators um be more prominent in the algorithm, but then all these programs came out with SEO. What what is it? Uh search some, engine optimization. So, yeah. yeah, search engine optimization, and it's like since everybody's paying for it now, it's basically uh, overlapping each other. So right. it doesn't matter if you yeah, type right. in a say you type in a keyword to get into the algorithm it's gonna show you what you think you want to see you want to see like even when you google now you remember back in the day when you would google some shit and then like you know on the bottom it would say like g-o-o-o and then it would go on for like a hundred pages a thousand pages right well what google ended up seeing was people were getting lost in those tail ends if you weren't showing up on the first two pages of google it's not even yeah it wasn't even worth it. now it's not even two pages it's the first page uh, your search results is one page depending on your your internet data history, your voice search history, mm-hmm. your text messages, who you're following on Facebook. Because they're listening. And it's all tailored to exactly they're the listening. way you I've live your life. Too. Yeah. And those are the search results. Notice if you mention anything, especially if you're like a Google listening thing is on. I have Alexa. It's kind of or yeah, if Alexa if right. Alexa is on. Now, then you're gonna start start seeing like like let's say you look up Nikes, they're gonna you're gonna see Nikes in your ad, you're gonna see Nikes on your feed. Every time you see a commercial, it's gonna be about Nikes. You're gonna be like, but you know, I even searching. You know what they're tailoring t- tailoring to me now? What? Everything ancient Egypt. Because you started studying everything. it, right? Hieroglyphics, the oh, Sphinx, God. like everything, like all the hidden ancient alien type, but only Egypt. Like it's, but I like it though. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Like damn, there's another one. I I, I can't help myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. like addicted now. Like yeah. anytime I'm on Facebook, I see something Egypt. I always kind of like scroll a little but bit. But that's slower. exactly they they. <laughs> but they know what they're doing. See exactly because yeah. now you click on, on yeah yeah. But that's what I'm saying. They they got you on it, so you keep clicking on it, clicking on the next one, and then yeah. it's like now it's saturated your. Feet. Hey man, it's like just you can't like fight that, it no that, more. That's that's it's the done. edge of the rabbit hole, bro. Yep. Then you gonna they be talking me. about. How deep? How deep do you want to go? Right. Yeah. That's what it personalized I'm me, yeah. man. They yes, got sir. me. They got me. They reading me like a book now. Yes, sir. Like, Damn. My dad freaking. What was it called when you know everybody step like you're gullible or something like that? Damn. You just know everything. You just I just know every, bro. Know everything I want it's now. Like, I know Jesus you. Christ. Nah, Click but, on me. Buy it. But look at yeah. where we're going with that shit, though. Like we're all going to be living in a world where 
it's just our own personal bubble. Yeah, you're we're, you're we're kind of creating the world you're about to live in. That's right. why it's just, it's being it's easier to be more isolated than it is to be mm-hmm. social. But like, you know, you see, uh, don't spend time at parks no more. Snog just, Dog has a point. What he said. Snog Dog says I get ads in Spanish because my fiance's family speaks Spanish oh, around yeah. me. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. so they right. even pick it up. So she gets right. it. She gets the the the, the mm-hmm. Spanish language because of that, but that's mm-hmm. that's the crazy thing. So, but that's what I'm saying. Like your phone's always listening. Like, well, yeah. even if if I say like my brother showed me how to go on the settings and shut it off, so I don't I don't get that anymore. But it's like for everybody else that it's even by proxy. Yeah, it's not, by proxy. Yeah, it's by proxy. So anyone who's on your contacts, their information is fed into this entire web of people yeah. you're connected to, and they can figure out. Who you are through the people? Yeah, it's kind of it's getting yeah. it's getting to the point where it's almost too smart to fight. Right, like it's yes. kind of getting to the point where it's like you gotta you know accept it into the regular. Yeah, hey, they got me. They know. They know. They, I can't block everything. Yeah. You know, and that's the know. example I was giving him. Like I told oh. him, well, this is a perfect example. Like I was at I was at work today, and I went into the break room to to heat up the rice i was gonna make for lunch Mm -hmm. and mariella came up to me and she's like do you dj i said no (laughs) she's like i said what she's like what do you do i said well my brother and i we do a podcast she's like oh that's where i saw you i don't even i don't have her phone number i don't have her facebook i don't have anything she said she saw me on facebook Mm -hmm. so that means oh yeah whoever Mm -hmm. she's connected to that happens it runs through everybody's feed and then it connects her to me and then she's like oh now i'm going to watch it now so it's like i don't even contact this woman i'll talk to her but because i probably have danny the deli manager's number and she he, she uh he probably has her number it connected us through that yeah. so it's like it's the same thing with uh with uh youtube however many subscribers you have if they listen to us if they have their contacts on their phone it's gonna feed it especially if we mention something like we talked about college struggles you know how many people um went and watched that video i've seen a lot of people yeah, yeah. yeah. Be- and, and that's people. because one person that I probably have in my contacts connects to everybody else that's on their phone. And then if they even type in or mention something about college, the phone picks it up and then it suggests a video yeah. onto their feed. So that's how SEO is working now. And a lot of people don't understand that. So you don't even, you, you don't even need to, you don't even need to be part of the, of, of our subscription to see that, which is crazy to me. Yeah. Um, Smoke says me and Bean in the chat, like, <laughs> Uh, you what? Snot dog. Say I saw your f- podcast on, a on Facebook, Facebook before you told me before about, you told it. Me yeah. about it. Yeah. I be thinking about people and I just that's see it. them pop up on my friend list. Yeah. Like damn. Yeah. That's it. Like that's crazy. Like now mm-hmm. it's like you you kind of like- you kind of do a little search in your phone, you know, mm-hmm. in your phone contacts, and you see that same person. It follows that whole seven degrees rule. Yeah. Seven know. degrees. You know, seven people you know, seven people they know, seven people those people. Yeah, like yep. everybody's connected by seven people. By seven people. Oh yeah, for sure, I agree with that. I wonder how that works. Uh, Bean says, "Yep, I can agree that shit is creepy. They're always listening in." And I know there's, like I said, with, I don't know about um, uh, iPhones, but with uh, Android, we found the feature where we can shut it off. But again, like you said, it's by proxy now. I, you know, I got two Alexas in my house, uh-huh. and I always think if there's some type of she listening, like code that actually she actually picks up on. Like if I say, uh, okay. "Hey Siri," right in front of her, I, I wonder if she that. listens too. Like, what is he talking about? Talking Why about? didn't you say Alexa? I'll be like, hey, Siri, do this. Uh, like the, the machines are communicating yeah. with each other. But but instead of me saying Alexa. Aliens. I feel like that even picks up Alexa to start listening because I'm talking right. to Siri. Yep. It's right. Apple. And it's like, so it's a code word. Okay. Yeah. What like is if he, he says, hey, Siri. Ele- uh, Siri. Yeah. That I can recommend to him. Yeah. Like Butterbean yeah, no, Butter no, Gaming is saying hey, Alexa, they're listening. Yeah. Because it's like hey, Siri listens to everything, too. Of course. She's, just, sure, she's sure. waiting to respond when you say her name. Yeah. Like what? Well, they, shit they showed an example of Siri with an iPhone. So they basically took Siri and they covered Siri with a piece of paper. And then they said, hey, Siri, on the camera. They covered the camera. Didn't respond. They removed the paper off the camera. Then they said, hey, Siri. Siri responded. Yeah, it doesn't, so that means, yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, if my phone is, is face down, it doesn't respond. Yes, because they're up. recording you yeah. to see. They need to see <laughs> your face. Uh, yes. And that's where the facial recognition yeah, that's Oh, true. you know, I think, it, yeah, because you, you can't say it for everything. So they got to make sure that it's you. But, again, I can have my phone up and away, and it'll still answer if I say, hey, Siri. But if it's not, 
And that that's weird too, because even my watch, like I be talking, have a conversation, right. and my watch starts talking too. Right. Like, oh, shut up. It's that it's whole. Crazy. Hey would, man, it's would, that whole Internet of Things. Would it butter bean game? He said. Um, he said, "I'll talk about some and then go on Google, and it will auto type shit you was talking about." To answer your question, I'm like exactly right, absolutely, yeah. The auto, yeah. go back to putting tape on your laptop, laptop. as well. It's not it, it kind of like it kind of makes me think like, damn, maybe those guys were right. Like I used to go, I used to work for Win Dixie, mm -hmm. and this guy came to my my line and checkout line. He was like, "Don't use my credit card." I, oh, I had to ID him for his beer. You know, people like that. Yeah, yeah, for a, sure, for I sure. I got to ID him for his. He's like, oh, and you I don't want to give you. That shit. I don't want to give you my license. I don't want you to have my license or type in anything don't even you know what i'm saying it's like right. okay old man god damn it's like <laughs> it, 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 no, they be, it, but it's now it's right. like damn maybe he was right but they'd be the most prone to being scammed though yes because they easily fall for right. the whole fake oh yeah they took 200 dollars from your account now you have to get a google play card so you can transfer the money on there or an he apple he was card. different because he was like army background and mm -hmm. he seemed to like know what the government was doing so he's kind of like i know what they're going to do with my information i'm not going to give it away so that's the type of that's like what he was kind of his information he was in army yeah so he, 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 he so well, that is true but he soul. he was talking about technology like how word, technology word. works like he was just using his army background to, like i guess say in the army teach them mm -hmm. certain things about technology right right and he knows like, like and yeah, he yes, knows sir. a little bit more than civilians, I guess. I feel that. Yeah, so. I feel that. Nah. And then now you got. Have you seen Sora, the new generative AI, the video making? AI? I'm not even. It's over. Bruh. It's over. It's not even that. No, look, we just we started seeing um, Opus. Opus now creates clips for you for your YouTube right. channel. I've been trying to get into <laughs> AI, and everything cost money like oh yeah nothing i can't free. Even, i can't even like there's certain ai i want to try but it's like i look at the google review like the apple review and the apple store review of google and people google complain because it costs they money because yep. it doesn't work and i'm like i don't even get to experience it because i'm not going to waste my money if it doesn't work mm -hmm. and they're all the same like they all say the same thing they all give you like that i feel thing. like yeah i don't know because i, I explained this it. idea to jeff right mm -hmm. maybe i'm Revealing too much because this said? might be. It's not Doug says. Choo, 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 choo. Does the government? Go, uh, does the government keep track of how many beers you buy? They Shit. probably fuck do. yeah, and then Absolutely. they're gonna advertise the beer to Absolutely. you, so you can want it even more. Yeah, you have the police right outside Absolutely. waiting for you. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah we we know you bought. Just think about it, home. right? At, at the bottom of every receipt, it's the last four digits of your card number. card number. Yeah, so, so everything on that receipt that was tallied up. They track it. You know what's funny too? It's tied like, to your. That's why. Yeah, what's the name right. of that Will Smith movie that where they tracked him everywhere, where he was running from the government? Oh, I haven't seen that one. Bro, I, I, was that the one with the twin? Did he have a twin? No, no. Let me see if I can find it. But go ahead and say what you were gonna say. I, I find it funny that the FBI or the whoever, whenever it comes down to a real investigation, when they have to like the one girl that was um. That the black girl that said that she saw a baby on the highway. Type yeah, shit. Right, right. They when knew. She over, they right. knew she was faking the whole time. The whole time from but, the moment. <laughs> but they didn't release it until after because they they found like records of her looking up stuff on the internet wow. about how she she watched movies about this. Yep. Uh, they track, knew they knew her whole history. Everything. And you, and your they messages aren't really your messages aren't really deleted either because So it's like what deleted. are you trying to what hide? They doing? can access right. at any time if they really want to investigate you. They can access they can do whatever they all want. of your yep. history. Yep. All of your personal yep. history oh, on man. Apple whatever. You think Apple's hiding stuff? Nah, they found every text every research internet search everything when they mm -hmm. when they was looking for that girl because she claimed that she was kidnapped or whatever mm -hmm. and they released everything they released the movies she was watching the research she was watching she was they was like that's crazy can you can you call um a what is it cold red or some kidnapping term oh, uh, on your amber, alert. Amber, amber alert can yeah. you call an amber alert on yourself like they found all that with mm -hmm. that girl man and then that's it was crazy. just embarrassing it's because embarrassing you wouldn't and not and then be, don't show you videos of like Especially if like someone's planning a murder or something. Oh like, yeah, for sure. They have videos like, of you typing it in. Typing yeah. it in. They'll show like you walking so, into that's the what's, store. Like, what's like when when, when certain when certain uh, couples will um, buy an assassin 
and then oh, when, yeah, when, when the, uh, and the yeah, and then, yeah. And then and they, they get an undercover they get an undercover cop instead, and then they're like, "Oh, I wasn't gonna do it. It was just a prank or conspiracy." Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the government's yeah. always tracking you. They just they just wait till it's like a seriousness of oh, we gotta. It's escalating too we gotta, far. You gotta go ahead and pull up this person's data and see what that person's been doing. You can't hide shit. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, the name of the movie is Enemy of the State, and it came out Enemy ninety in nineteen ninety eight. I've heard of that movie. Ah. And they had and that was credit cards weren't big and technology wasn't huge, but they tracked that man everywhere he went. He could not hide. Even on some nineties tech. Even on bro. some nineties tech. What they got now? Yeah. And that that's be, the only place you can hide is go to Africa or some shit. And there's no. <laughs> like, go to <laughs> India. You can't <laughs> find. Go to those third world countries. You yeah. really want to hide from the government? Oh man. Yeah, that's, that's why true. they go to Panama or something right. like that. That's right. why they say uh, Tupac's in Cuba or some shit. You got to go to a, a, a country where America is not welcome. Like go to Russia. Go to China. <laughs> like, they'll hide you for, for, for real. How you hide a black man in Russia? Bruh, that's why. You can't. It's like, that's why we couldn't play James Bond. <laughs> yeah. You what? Man, that's different. Oh, uh, shit. That's different. No, nah, but that's just... I don't know, man. I'm just kind of looking at the whole overview of of ai but just kind of going into like when it comes to using ai products um i get it, it's going to cost money but i feel like if you can think outside the box and you know learn how to use these ai programs in tandem with each other you can create a closed system that provides a certain service mm -hmm. using all these ai products i've been trying to you see I've what been, i'm saying i've been in, instead of Oh well, this AI just does this, and that is all it does. Mm -hmm. Instead of this AI works with this AI, works with this AI. So it's like you can't get lost. You have to yeah. stay. In you, have to, you have to force yourself to learn AI because if you don't, right, then you're gonna be an old ass motherfucker. Right, in about trying 20 to understand. Years, yep, trying to understand. Trying what to learn is. how to drive a car. You've been <laughs> bugging wheels or type shit. Like trying to figure out how to work a cell phone when a first cell phone comes out now you got this vision pro you know it's going to be an upgrade after oh that. it's going to be an upgrade oh, yeah. and then you got Neuralink. Yeah. And you're not Neuralink the already did first, human trials first human trials on Neuralink. yeah oh, successful it'll be like what is your old ass doing with a cell phone <laughs> dog it should be, it it should be a cell phone a, like, is that a touch screen you, you, touch you should, should be beaming screen? it from your brain right you got now air screens now what the fuck <laughs> like for real man like imagine that bro. we got oh, air screens you look, at all the, you look at all these stupid motherfuckers the doing oculars. this the and Oculus. you're the only one not doing it. I imagine that, bro. Oh yeah, for sure. No, bro, that's the, tough. The but whole I don't world. Wanna, I don't want to have to do something the because I'm the only motherfucker not doing but it. But you gotta understand you the whole world's gonna look crazy. You still oh. got old people that's like the only way you're gonna contact me if you come and knock on my door. And just, we don't use cell phones around here. Or they still got. Do their you know slips. how they can literally digitally obsolete half the world's population just for refusing to adopt this technology? Make it not yeah. work. Like you just won't have access. Like now, you need internet. Yeah, because it's like it's it's already pointless now right. to have cash. Right. So at me? what point when they say, hey, you know what, guys, we don't do paper no more. Everything's yeah. digital. That's crazy. we don't need cash. I'm not. I'm tired of pennies. I'm tired of I dimes. Hate that shit. Like that's you, why I'd rather have stations. that shit. Yeah, I'd rather have well, that shit. That's why with like self checkouts now, they don't even have the cash slot that you can put nope. it in. They just have the cards. Or they disable yeah. them now. They right. disable them. So yeah. They disable. They're yeah. even disabling chip pay now too yeah because they want you to tap because if you think yeah. about it when you do when you go to the gas station certain gas stations have those fake chip things so as soon as you put it in it steals all your information and what do you always have you always have your phone so it's like you can always use your phone remember i, I asked you i was like yo jeff i need you to spot me yeah and, and then then I, was I was like, like i was like oh shit you can use your phone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then man forgot I was like, about. Oh, yeah, my he bad, forgot Jeff. about. Yeah, he forgot about tap. <laughs> I was like, shit. I actually have my. I left a wallet in my. You I left my wallet right. somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, no, Jeff. they're gonna. They're starting this because uh, uh, when I was what was it getting a new license <coughs> plate for my car? Yeah. I had to create a FLHSMV whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, account, and I believe they're gonna. They're trying to transition into digital titles. Yes. D digital registration, yes. digital IDs. That's one thing I hate the worst, the most, is making new accounts. Like, oh. like I, I hate having to. Be more that information in your brain. I hate having to log into something, to create a new account, and create a new password, and this and that, and just, like, I hate creating new accounts. Like, it's, 
one of the worst things. Well, now don't they offer? Um, okay, because you know how before you used to be able to just sign in, uh, put in, fill in your password with um, thumbprint or fingerprint or face ID. You can do right? that. Yes. On your phone, yeah. yeah on your phone. You have to go register accounts and stuff like that. Mm, make right closer. Make new accounts. But I hate doing that. What they're starting to do now is bio. JetBlue is already. Yeah, doing biometric. You just put your eyes and your thumbprint. Right. Like prime Damn. example. That's your so ticket, bro. My phone. <laughs> my phone. It's at they, Fort Myers yeah. Airport. It's already there. So like my phone now integrated the thumbprint, the phone print, and hmm. Face ID into anything that I sign in on. Yeah. Everywhere. It just Jeez. uses my biometric. That's crazy. Forget the passwords that I created for them. It's like, do you want to set up a biometric account? Do you want to set up a biometric account? Do you want to set up a... Bi and then, so for all my accounts, all I have to do is just put my thumbprint. And it'll just... You know how long it took me to change my address? A um, long time. All my credit cards, my... Yeah, yeah. My oh, postcard. Yeah. It's, after I moved, yeah. it took me almost five months. Right. Damn. Just to change my address. Like, my mail was going to my old address because I just... I'm not going to go to a post office and... Do all this and that. Do like, I, wait, can't you do that? In a post I don't want to talk to yeah. humans. The fuck, like, nah. It took me a long time, and Damn. then I just changed my billing address on my my personal credit cards and stuff. So then I had it. Now since you changed that, then all your subscriptions, you know, they you gotta change the address on. Now those you gotta too. change that. Now yeah. I'm like, I'm looking at my phone. I gotta cancel. Oh, it didn't go through. Now I gotta change this, and I gotta yeah. change that. Oh man! Especially if your zip code it. changes, because it's Jeez. not going to the billing address that you needed. I was to like, to. I was late on my my rent because I forgot to change my the, billing the, address. Oh, it's like fuck, the, damn! I got so much billing. I should just kept it the same. Like damn. Was how a, long? Snot Dog says, how long till the biometrics on our phone is used by? It's already being used by law enforcement. It's not. It's not being used by by law enforcement, but they have access to it. Right. In seriousness. Right. Like I said yeah. with the one girl, like. You think that your shit's not actually going through these? Well, you know it's going through. It's, it's already, yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. At any it's point, just you're not signaling any red flags. Yeah, right. once you check. like, if there's a crime going yeah, on or right. you're missing or whatever, if there was a crime, then can just fucking pull up your like, shit. Even for no reason, right? Let's say you live upstairs from a crime that happened. Everyone who lives in that building, you're getting uh, yeah. uh, investigated. And yeah. it's like, it's like. They like I. There's some crimes that are not serious enough for them to actually prosecute because they don't want to give people that information. They don't Word. want the oh, yeah, for sure. public to know. But they know who did it. Right. They just they just wait for. They kind of give. Oh, we're gonna wait for law shit. enforcement. But I guarantee you, there's a higher up in law enforcement mm -hmm. that knows exactly what happened. And then if the law enforcement catch you, they catch you because I know they just have to make the case for everybody that's doing fraud. Right. They know that you're, that you're doing it. Right. They're just waiting for you to get big money. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's what the And on top do. of that, they have to build a case. So it's like, yeah. even if we yeah. have the evidence point blank right there, you know what I'm saying? They still have to legally make a case and charge you with things. So, like, the entire time, they know it's you. Yeah. They just have to go to the through the legal loopholes or the, 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 the legal hurdles to formulate a case against you before they come even, out of I wouldn't like, even say. I, I guarantee you, like... When you do your first credit card scam, you get that first hundred dollars, <laughs> you five hundred. The feds are like, "Oh shit, okay, we got." Oh, let's see this man. Let's we see got, how far we got, go. we got. Little man coming in. He's let trying me, to slowly see, move up the like, two thousand dollars. Let's see how much he can get before let's we look. knock on his door. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Get up there. We're like, they're just watching you, bro. They're just oh, oh one mil. Oh, a couple houses now. Oh, he got a he got a Lambo. Oh, oh, he's racking it up. Oh, let's yeah. get it. We gotta wait till he gets big. Yeah, once he gets yeah. to that. Oh, we're. <laughs> Once he get in. comfortable, once he feels yeah. safe, because they're, they're all you're all playing the same game. Like, yeah, like yeah, the government, true. absolutely. The government fraud, the crime, all all you guys are playing the same game. You're stealing America's money. Mm -hmm. I mean, the the biggest taxation is tax. Right. Or no, what is it called? The biggest um robbery is taxation. Like as soon as they as soon as they increase At the taxes, end of the day. you're gonna have to pay <laughs> Uncle it. Uncle Sam. So they it's they're robbing American people. Money. So you're playing the same facts, game, right? Yes, so you're just you, kicking the can down the road. Well, like it's not like like a uh, butterbean game. You said, <laughs> "Damn, you can't do any." You any, can't do shit. Absolutely, yeah. Not. And get away with it. The moment, moment they sign the the what was it? Listen to everybody, Bill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
You want to get the, you want to get away with what they want you to get away with. Yes. Yeah. The moment they signed the Patriot Act, it, it was over. That's it. It was over. You know what I'm saying? That's when digital surveillance was just. And I guarantee you, they you know, probably make up crimes just just so that they can get more laws implemented. Like you think. Like you, you already know, nine eleven wasn't fucking real. But then after that, they got, they got what home, home security, some shit like right. that. They oh, put yeah. that shit in Homeland place. Homeland security. Now you gotta, you know, go through airports mm-hmm. differently. Like mm-hmm. they probably be making up these bullshit ass fucking crimes that, you know, they hire a fucking CIA to to be well, a well, like a he said, guy. biometrics now at our uh, RSW. Like if you want to go on JetBlue, yeah. you could, they just scan your retinal and then you put your fingerprint and then you you're set. That's your ticket. You just pay for the ticket online, and then you scan your retina, and then you're set. Remember all of it, in all of it is just more access to your money. Whenever oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, that's all it leads to. When you get, when you, when you trust a system so much that you have everything attached to it, mm-hmm. that's just what they want. They want access to everything you have at all time. So they're just getting to the point where they're gonna have a system where everything that you own is connected to it. So your home security, your yep. your bank account information, yep. your privacy, your the cameras, internet of things, everything, your everything. search history, which is searching, they're gonna have yep. access to everything you have, mm-hmm. and that's exactly what the government wants: access to everything. Well, perfect example. Has. When I got Blink at the beginning, it was save it on my phone. Then they they made a subscription where it goes into the cloud. So if you don't pay, it doesn't save your videos. So it's like yeah. you go from and you don't have access and to you it. don't have access and to it. Yeah, there's some programs now where you can't use the program unless it, you give it full access. Mm, right. Like I be I be on my Fire Stick now. It's like it'd be like the Fire Stick says, um, "Can we have?" It, it's like specifically it Can says have full access to your yeah, like your internet or some shit. Yeah. And there's no no. It just says yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> because if I you can't say no, use it, every I can't website, use it until accept I, cookies or yeah. get the fuck out. Yeah, I yeah. can't use it unless I say this yep. and that. Like, like even Reddit, you gotta go on the Reddit site. You gotta yep. log in and allow to access yeah, allow, images like, and contacts. There's no that. X. There's yeah. just yes. So it's like, why give me that option then? What's the point? No, because right. they just need you to know what you're signing. No way. <laughs> That's it. It's you like there's no option. You gonna use us or not? Or no, right? Yeah, you gonna give us the access? You're not gonna use us. It's like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> That's crazy, man. Get tired of this. Uh, I'm not signing up. I hate signing up. I'm not signing I hate up for shit. Signing up for shit. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I just make like, because Google has this feature where you could just make a dummy account and just make bullshit passwords mm-hmm. or bullshit emails. Yeah, for sure. Or something like that. And I think that's like the best idea. Like, if you just want to use something, just make a bullshit email that you sign up. I have a lot of those, yeah. actually. <laughs> you know who put me onto that? Our younger sister. Yep. Our younger sister put me on. Damn, me. yes. Yeah. 50 million YouTube It's accounts. like she just yeah. knew. She just knew. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, she on that Gen Z shit, so they kind of grew up on the I used, I wish I knew about that for my mail, because I'm, I'm tired of having so many people on my Yahoo account. Like, like now it's like, it's I got 20,000 inbox. Wait, you got a Yahoo email? How long you had that account? For a while, I bet high school. I bet same here. What yeah. you do, yeah. you it's rare you hear at yahoo.com. Like, well, you don't even, it's, when I hear AOL, I'm like, what Ooh, or Hotmail, bro? Get the fuck out. So of what here. is it now? You guys using Google or something? It's yeah, it's Gmail. No, I I still have my Hotmail. I still have my it, Yahoo. It, it, it used older, to be it, yeah, it used to be at MSN Live or some shit like mm-hmm. that. I think. Because it was connected to Microsoft. Yeah, it was uh, so MSN, for like it was, Xbox. Right. Yeah. It was MSN Live, and then they changed it to Hotmail, mm-hmm. and then now it's like Microsoft dot Live yep. or some shit like that. But yeah, you think they're ever gonna change or that? Outlook. There it is. It's Outlook. Well, Outlook. like, uh, like what, like my brother and I got into Web three wallets where they don't require anything but a passcode that you have to remember to log in. So they don't require your social. They don't require your email. They don't require your phone number, your age, or anything. Right. Like that. It's just a universal key that yeah. allows you. So access don't forget your universal key, and you can access right. anything. Which my brother and I we created Web three wallets so we can. Um, if it's use... Web three, it's one password for the entire. Entire. Thing. You guys are just like. You guys are gonna be digital. We love learning, man. Gurus, we're bro. not trying to get left. <laughs> Web three wallet shows like you guys to. know everything. Well, because we're on we're on we're on Web two right now. Web two is literally Facebook apps, apps, apps and shit. Yeah, everything, everything that you have to put your information right. in. That's Web two. Right. We're, we've been using it since. Uh, but Web three, it's you guys have. A you guys know way. the difference between like Web. what type of 
platform this is like oh facebook so this is web 2 this is web yeah, 3 this so is every single app on your phone is web 2 Jeez, if it requires where do you get that knowledge from like what you just know that just, like, I, just, oh just guys like, what are you guys working. using web 2 still yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like bro you're still on facebook you're a web 2 guy he's like god damn you guys what's are... web 3 again like what this the is fuck? just information god that damn i personally he stumbled consume. upon no, no, no. I, I be looking for shit. Just like how you guys know Gen Z, Gen X, Gen A, B, C. I'm like, for how shit. the fuck do you know that? I didn't know that until you guys started talking about Gen I A. I don't know, man. Like, what the I fuck? just Alpha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alpha is our, our kids right now. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I can't say I don't have a life because I have a life. It's just, I don't know. I just want to know shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just too much to know. I want to know about Egypt. That's hey, <laughs> hey, you know hey, what's gonna happen about hey, Egypt? Yeah. You know I mean? what's gonna happen after he leaves? Our phone are gonna stop playing Egypt commercials. I'm getting a lot of those. <laughs> Get him my ass, man. Yeah, but they're not listening, right? <laughs> Jimmy, when you say it, it makes you like, man, what do you do with your life? You just be Googling you shit, guys, bro. You guys know about you Web 2 and shit. I'm, still, shit. I'm still trying to figure out how they built the pyramids. <laughs> <laughs> they always you hitting too, bro. No. <laughs> like, did they figure it out yet? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I feel it, man. No, I don't know. It could be some, man, I don't know, bro. We got to get the brain checked or something. Yeah, we like, do. Cause I don't know information like that's a that's a hobby for me just consuming information yeah. and yeah. understanding. Like people always ask everything. me, how do you know this? And I'm like, like don't ask me how. I definitely know this. should be in tech, man. I mean, as but time goes thing, by, like, it seems I like wanna, you're going into tech. Like I want to know for my own personal benefit. You get what I'm saying? I see. And yeah. then if someone an just wants to know, here you go. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't I don't look at it as like. My knowledge is a vehicle for something. Uh-huh. My knowledge is just to make my life easier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why it's like every in, anytime I put time in obtaining <laughs> knowledge, like it's already paying me. You know what I'm saying? So like when it comes to giving knowledge, I don't I don't see it as it's for free. It's I think you free. did say something like that before. Right. Because right. we because we, like there's no motivation behind me gaining knowledge and, unless it's to make my life easier. Because what we learned was. Um, we would sit down and watch these 30 minute seminars just for them to say, okay, now pay $500 right. for this information. <laughs> and then this information that we thought was complex was simple as hell. Right. We're yeah. out, we're now down $500. Yeah, so it's like, right. if we learn something, then we'll teach it to somebody. Right. Like, simplest thing as changing a rotor on a vehicle is something that we can show somebody how to do instead of telling them to go a mechanic that'll charge them seven, $800 just to do the same thing that we did for 200 bucks. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, that's what we like to say. What did Snot Dog say? Um, Snot Dog says, Generation divides to Jeff is like astrology to white girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. I hate that, too. Bro. Oh, my God. You know what I tell you? You know how I get anybody nowadays? Mm. All these girls that be like into astrologies. I'm like, you guys. I, I be like, you never. <laughs> Whenever they say, what's your sign? <laughs> you I'm lie. Like, no, no, I don't. I just say you're racist. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the closest thing to racism right there. You're what? Like, you're going to judge me based off of what racism. month I was born? Isn't that what I call Space it? Space racism. That's space crazy. Racism. That's what yeah, I tell them. I, I say, I say wow, I don't do that. That's kind of racist, isn't it's it? Space racism. Like, what you going to do? You're going to judge me off of something I'm not? That's what like, I'm saying. You're a sorry I'm born. I hate people that's born in the May. I was like, what the fuck? The fuck did I do to you? I, I, should, oh, wow, I just be minding my This business. girl's like, I'm glad you're a tourist because I hate cancers. Oh, my God, damn. What the fuck <laughs> cancers do to you? Yeah, that's awesome. Like, motherfuckers aren't... I'm sorry that this motherfucker was born in the month of May. Oh, shit. That's more it's racism tough. than the skin they color. They free hating, bro. God damn. You, you hate all 12. You got... T- yeah, 12 people. That's like, there's only like four skin colors out here. And you got <laughs> people hating off for 12 months. Like, yeah, God like, damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, how I, that's how I combat it. If anybody wants advice to, if you hate people that says astrology, I just says, mm-hmm. man, that's close to racism. That's, Bro, that's crazy. Yeah, I hate you that what? shit. Yeah. No, that's I be wild. getting them too. I'm, oh, an an- I'm an asshole because I'm a Taurus. Yeah, that'd be like, what the fuck? They be like telling me shit that is not true. No, oh, shit. I can read you. I can tell you. Yeah, okay. Look. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just lie to them and see if they be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And I'll be like, nah, uh, I'm this instead. They be hating on birth months. Yeah, that's crazy. Racist as motherfucker. 
Closest, that's the closest thing to racism nowadays. Pure, bro. pure space racism. I can't, I can't. There's nothing else that's closer than it's global astrology. Oh yeah, for sure. Anyone get like you could just hate anybody. Yeah, you know now, you, now you just hate. It's I, the umbrella. It's of, a pseudo science. And I've always said that human beings are meant to be like discriminatory. Like if Absolutely. it wasn't skin color, oh yeah, for sure. It'd have been we eye color, advance. hair color, we height. Advance. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I it's, agree with that. I don't know why. I'm not yeah. saying it's a good. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's just, it's ingrained in us. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's ingrained in us. That's wild. So, Butterbean says, that's real. Girls won't talk to you just because of your sign. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Or if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android instead of an iPhone. Yeah. I will never. I will not. I remember remember seeing, like. a blue, a green bubble. On Instagram, like, this. (laughs) This one dude was doing a whole... He had like 500 on his notes in, in, in iPhone. Oh, like, X. Of the X. Uh-huh. And no, I, I would actually pause on them too. I think like he's at actual 500. I think he's at 700 now. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, no, like, no, I would no, pause no, and there's it's a legit list. No, man. you know what it said? One, I remember it's one specific. It said, don't have female siblings. <laughs> I was crazy. like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> you what? That's crazy. If you were raised by your mom, yeah, or you like have that. a sister, there's a lot, bro. That's oh my egg. god, like, what? that's crazy. No, at this point, we could just name any stupid thing under the sun. If they have goals, bro, girls have the longest list of shit that they don't like, bro. I was, I was writing to, I was writing to, um, oh, I feel bad. She's a good friend, though. I was going to pick up my car in Pembroke Pines or some mm. shit like that, somewhere in Pompano. And like I was basically, I was basically like, "What do you not like in the guy?" Oh my God, the list she had, Jesus Christ, she had like at least twenty. I, and then she asked, she was like, "Oh my God, I'm so sorry. What, what, is, what about you? What do you?" I had like three. <laughs> like, I was like, "God damn!" Why don't you just I'm, say you don't like the guy? Yeah, she just, had so many. She's like, "I don't like when guys follow a whole bunch of Instagram models and." I don't like when guys are this and that. And I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. She didn't name anything about me. I'm glad. You know, she didn't say anything about me. But, yeah, yeah, she had a whole bunch of them. That's like, wild. I was like, God That's damn, I only, have, I only have three. Guys who follow a bunch of Instagram models. Yeah. I was, yeah. Well, it's not dog say, Joe. Girls are it's not dog says, a girl not talking to you because of your sign wouldn't bring value to your life anyway. Yeah, and it's absolutely. a lie, too. Like, females be lying. You what? Shit, like, that's why they always talk about science. Cause they it's date, not. Cause she's they she's them. based. She's based though. It's not dog is based. That? What was that? Uh, no, no, no. Because what he, what he said, girls be lying. What was it? That one meme what was like all girls do is lie and eat hot chips. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh my and god. With chopsticks. <laughs> eat hot chips with chopsticks. The I'm discriminate. Dead. The I'm dead. the disrespect of eating hot chips with <laughs> chopsticks. Real shit. They got. Uh, Bean says, "Real shit. They got too many standards that guys have to meet nowadays. Too many fake standards too. Because right. I've be seen these like girls superficial standards. Bro, I see like the girls that be talking the most shit, and the guys they end up with. Average. Oh my god, bro. They only really want one thing, and that's a simp. That's it. They really just want a simp. And on top of that, it's like stages in their life that they want a simp. And then after that stage is done, and they're over thirty. Then they want a guy that's going to, you know what I'm saying, be with them, take care of them, all that shit like that. When a guy, when a girl sees a guy spin and throw money like crazy in the club, all you're seeing is a girl's eye light up with money signs in her eyes. Like, she's like, oh, my God, he's going to spend money. He's going to spend money on me. But then when you got a, you got a nice guy that's, you know, nice, solid job, don't mm-hmm. spend that much money, has a, a saving blue-collar? plan. Blah 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 blah. Not even blue collar. This is mm. just a regular uh, guy. Just a regular guy doing regular. his thing, not being all glamorous. A and regular stuff. schmegler. She's like, oh, he's boring. He's oh, this is not. He's a boring guy. Like they don't want boring guys. They yeah. want they want stupid dudes. Turbulence. That literally will will spend all their money on clothes, jewelry, go broke, credit card scams. They're they're getting a girl with a good fucking credit score. She's spending all her fucking. Uh, credit on him all to impress all to impress all to make sure the life looks good and meanwhile he's going broke you're going broke now you're broke and now you hate Tauruses now because <laughs> he's a Taurus and now you're scarred and that's what it happens and then she goes she goes look for a guy to rescue her and then he's boring and then she wants to leave and then she goes back to the same type of dude and then she's 32, 35, and those guys that spend money aren't spending money on her. So now she's like, they don't want me no more. 
That's what happens. <laughs> Girls don't settle down. They just nobody wants to move more, so they don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They gotta. Stop, dog. Said charge their phone, eat hot chip, and lie. <laughs> Is that what you and, and sleep? <laughs> And sleep. Charge their <laughs> phone. Bro, I'm telling you, it's not. Eat she's base, bro. Chip, she's base. Yeah. It's not dog. It's base. Oh, That's what's up. Dear. That's what's up. <laughs> at least, at least she's aware. And and because, uh, like you said, like we can talk. We we can talk about this, but then we'll get, like you said, canceled, labeled misogynist, labeled oh, women. They still haters. got that now. Yeah, they're still doing that. They're still doing it. I thought that shit was old, like the, nah, bro. the old car. No, usually if you like away. go outside, people ain't saying that shit. Around. No, no, they nowadays. don't. They don't. They you don't hear it outside. It's on the yeah, internet. You only it's hear on the it internet. internet. I don't hear the red pill. I think Andrew Tate just kind of disappeared. I think the fucking what is that's that, the thing that whole was that one sphere, podcast uh, that whole Myron that whole I- idea he's talking of about that fresh and fit fresh and only fit. exist on the internet. Like, uh, like, do you get what I'm saying? Like. The ins and outs of these conversations really only exist on the Yeah, but I feel like that's where the human beings of now consciousness lies on. Like, I feel like a lot of people consciousness has been... They don't know what's real. ...on the internet nowadays. Right. It hasn't been in the real world now. Right. I think a lot of things shifted to the internet, so it's like a lot of people, especially last year... (laughs) I'll say it like this. During 2020, when COVID really hit, Mm -hmm. a lot of people transferred their consciousness to the internet mm-hmm. and a lot of people just believed everything that's when trump was elected again mm-hmm. that's when all the russia shit and fake all these news. fake news started mm-hmm. to happen yeah, like news. it captured a lot of people because a lot of people consciousness was on the internet like so that's all they believe like what they see on tv right. don't do research the instagram and and those tiktoks like they found out tiktok has been propaganda like they're the the thing that's happening over there in Israel, mm-hmm. in Gaza or, or whatever it's Palestine's, mm-hmm. they found out TikTok has been propagating a lot of people to go against Israel. Believe it or not, because we've in it, we've seen it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people has been like, "Oh, Israel's doing all the wrongdoings and this and that," but nobody knows about the terrorism that is going on with the Palestine in, inside of that. So I'm not saying that they're all bad and this and that yeah but they they did find out tiktok was really pushing um a lot of the um hate towards israel mm-hmm. and what they're doing and it's that's what happens you kind of really do your saw own like in terms of the yeah, the, the, the social says touch grass yeah right touch grass you got to go outside yeah right. take off your socks too. weak-minded yeah. people ground you yourself outside. That's facts. Easily manipulated. And and that's why I always I always tell my brother, like, I get it. We can learn a lot from the internet, but at, this, at the same time, it, sometimes we can just go outside, take uh, a deep yeah. breath right. of fresh air. It's a double-edged sword. sword. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's like if you read too much into everything that's going on in the world, it's like that's all you think. It, you think the entire yeah. world is bad, and all the news shows is bad stuff that happens in the world. It's not you, – you'll see one good thing, a guy – uh, got a person a new house or built it, but everything else is just bad, bad, yeah. bad, bad, bad. Good news is boring news. Exactly, bad news is entertainment. It's what makes money. SEO yeah. ruined everything. Like I said, SEO ruined everything. Yeah, it's what makes money because you need to. Because even these billion dollar news corporations have to get. <laughs> that's like imagine know. watching a movie with no conflicts. Like that's crazy. Yeah, that'd be a very. <laughs> like, that's I'm what like, I'm what saying? the fuck did I just like, watch? Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, watching Seinfeld as a movie. It was like, about to escalate, but then like, he they talked. They talked <laughs> it up. <laughs> they shared a that, cup of coffee. No music. Just no. a, whole, a whole movie with no music. Oh, no like drama. actual, <sighs> like no conflict. Like yeah. so, would you say real life, like from a third person perspective, is pretty cringy? Like if you were just kind of watching a group of people interact, would it be cringy? Without all the background music and no, because and all that shit. I, eh, I wouldn't say that because there's a lot of YouTube podcasts that you watch now, and it seems that's where because it's heavily edited. It's what you need. Well, eh, you feel me? It's Unless heavily, you do it live, right? It, Unless you do, yeah. It live. But that's what I'm saying. A lot yeah. of people watch live now because it's like everything is saturated. The whole the whole internet has been saturated so mm, much right. with the the um heavily edited heavily like 
you know what I'm Click saying? Clickbait. Yeah. All of it. Right, like, for sure. right, like you get tired. Now you want to just see Crazy what, thumbnails. Like, you don't shit. really see. That's why I like this podcast so much because you don't really see podcasts. Well, nowadays it's been popping up a lot more. But you didn't see a lot of podcasts like this where you can just talk about anything mm-hmm. and Word. not having a certain conflict Word. happening. And Word. It's, it used to always be antagonist, protagonist. Right. You know, we're going to talk. What side are you on? Basically. Like, I, I can't watch Aiden, like Aiden and his Kai Sinet. I can't watch that. Oh, Aiden Ross and them. It's okay, always okay. some bullshit clickbait shit, like with the... 21 Savage and the, the deck of cards shit. Oh, the I, scam? Yeah, he, it's just like, the, no, I don't want to watch some bullshit like that. Like, I, I'd rather just not, you know what I'm saying? Oh, but man. that's the crazy thing, too, because before we did start doing live last year, people would always ask us, do you edit your videos? And we're like, no, everything is straight through. Besides adding the title to the front, we wouldn't cut anything out. So yeah. it's like, now that we can do it live, it's more authentic and genuine because people can actually and see. And it's catching on because if you watched the, uh, I watch a lot of podcasts now that are two hours plus long. Like it's a whole movie. Yeah. And it's all live. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I love watching Gil Arena. Like I like watching Shannon. Um, oh, Gil, uh, Gil Arena. Yeah, yeah, I like watching oh, yeah, his, yeah, his yeah. podcast. Shannon, Club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, a good yeah. one. Yeah, that, that's cat, really that was really good. So the was Monique like, one was also good too. That was, was crazy. I liked it. She took control of that. Yes, sir. I, yeah. I really like. Like that's the stuff. Those are the ones that don't have. Like I said, don't have music. Don't have the edited the mm-hmm. conflict. Yeah. Like you they watch. Have the it's like you can watch podcasts now for two hours instead of going to the movie and watching the movie for two hours. That's and right. then you learn information, news, different perspective on right. people's yeah. lives, all that right. stuff like that. I can't remember the last good movie I watched from twenty twenty three. Three. Oh no, nah, there hasn't. Can't even watch. I can't. Not remember. Re- unless it's like some. I can't even remember the name. I've watched John Wick. John Wick was good, but like everything else, I haven't really found a good I feel that. Was that the only movie we watched last year? John Wick? That's the only movie we went to theaters to watch. Yeah. Because everything just felt just... Just not even... Yeah. And it's like every other other two hour plus videos I've been watching is live podcast. Like that's the the shift. That's the uh, shift now. It's Mm -hmm. like no more movies now for entertainment. Right, you real watch, life, real yeah, life is yeah, better. And it's than every movies. day, like yeah. what you guys right. have Tuesdays and Thursdays. Some people do it every day. Right. It's like I can always come back. Like some people like watching series. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so for it's sure. Like, for sure. Even with anime, <laughs> like that's one thing that I'm big on. It's like watching anime because it has a storyline. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, you can watch podcasts because you know he's coming back. Oh, it's right. consistent. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, for the sure. Biggest for thing, sure. consistency. So I, sure. I like watching more days. And you're following. An actual day to day story yep. of this person. And, yeah. and it gives you your information, right. gives you news right. and all that stuff like that. Exactly. If you have a niche that you like to like basketball or you yeah, want to learn sure. more about basketball right. or right. the the Shay Shay, you know, different comedians and actors, how they've been brought up and blah 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 blah. So it's like that's what I think that's what the entertainment has been shifting over to. Mm-hmm. When you ask me a question about do I no, I like watching more of the live without the music and the conflicts right. and all those that Aiden Ross fake stuff. Shit, like all that shit, fake right. fake for the camera. I don't like the fake that's for right. the camera. You know I, what I'm I saying? I think that started with like fake pranks. You remember yeah, that era? Fake pranks. Yeah. 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 Fake pranks. And then right. that's when, and like you, you said, Gen yeah. Z thought that was real life, so they'd go out and do it and, and then when actually, they get their ass Right. Work. And then it turned into IRL streaming yes. where now they just go out and just start doing stupid yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. With that's, a big ass bodyguard. That's one of the things where it was fun. It's like I'll, I'll compare that to like a little pop music that just spans up and has no depth to it. Like mm-hmm. like one of those that catchy spice, summer like, song. Like a little catchy yeah. summer song. Like you, yeah. Oh, it's cool for now and then it just like <laughs> fades out and then it's the next thing. Like those don't that. stick for long. Like those guys are troublemakers. It's no substance. There's no like there's no positivity into it. Being, yeah. being an asshole to people sucks. Like yeah, it's, it's cool to watch because you want to know what happens. You want to see the reactions, right. all that. But at the end of the day, in your heart, you know, negativity really don't span out. Like, nobody's really going to... Sponsors aren't going to click it. Nope. No, they're like, not. You're not going to nope. get... Yeah. Nope. Well, like uh, Snot Dog says, I meditate outside when being online is too much. I call it my photosynthesis, photosynthesis. hour. Oh. And she uh, also responded with, just need sunlight and fresh air. No, I agree. Because like you said, a lot of people just wallop in 
whatever they're listening to and they go down a rabbit hole and then that's all they focus on now they're feeding you information that they learn by literally just regurgitating it and not understanding what it is yeah because again that's what we have people will watch a video online they take the information from it, then they spit it to somebody else, and it's like, well, did you do any more research on yeah, that? Yeah, you didn't even try to fully understand, understand the information. The, yeah, that the context just, of that. Yeah. Well, now, now with all this right. technology and AI, I mean, like Snot Dog said, you have to take a you have to take a break now. Like mm-hmm. you have to force yourself to take a well, it's, it's because in your face. They want you to. They right. want you to just nowadays. They want you to as long as you're on this app. Yes. They got you. Yeah. Yeah. They want you to spend as much time what as was, you can on Instagram. They've done Most, interviews with Meta and Facebook. Yeah, that's their target now. That's literally their, screen time. That's literally their um their mm-hmm. what do you call it? Like not their motto, but what their 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 message. That's that's the ah that's the thing they want to follow. Mm-hmm. To build their company on, and I think Elon you know Musk saying? talked about it too, like yeah, keeping you having your, have engagement, like engagement, the engagement, keep the you time. connected, yeah. Like they can your see, brain they can see how stimulated. how many people is on Twitter a day, like billions of people are on Twitter for hours and hours, and mm-hmm. then you got Instagram, you got TikTok is the worst. So many people on this and that, and it's hours, and then you can take that, show it to the ad company, ad company, like you're getting ads out of ads out of ads, it's just. Wow. That's what they but, want. Like, see, this is the worst thing because I was talking to an associate. I was talking to um, an associate, Irene, last week, and basically I said TikTok has ruined adult lives, including millennials and Gen Zs and alphas, because now it's like if it doesn't stimulate their brain within that five second range, swipe, swipe. Yeah. They, they model their li- like you. Model their li- yes. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 I was about to say like you, like you, you can sit down and watch two hour podcasts without saying. Nah, this is boring. Yeah. Because you want to see where that that's going. But that's right. Them, YouTube is because even if you're watching yes. part, you're you're on YouTube's platform. Yes. So right. your engagement is two hours long. Right. On a YouTube, now you're engaged for two. And then guess what? You're not gonna stop. You're gonna watch another one. Exactly. Watch right. another podcast. Yeah. Yeah. So your engagement, even on YouTube, even if you're watching a podcast mm-hmm. for entertainment, you're still engaged on a platform that has AI technology. That is literally drawing you in there. Yeah. No, so it's like right. I I think about it. I was like, well, what is that taking us away from? I think about like the ancients, like back in the days, you didn't use. I don't think they used. I don't think the consciousness back in the days was entertainment. Mm-hmm. Like no. So I think they were more into public like, consciousness. They wanted to know like more about who they were on this planet. That's why astrology and this and that was so advanced back in those days based on what they had technology wise then majority of the people we have now now i'm not saying that you know what i'm saying because i think you aren't going that way because you still got people who don't use the phone that are literally right. geniuses in the field of whatever they're in but can i, I think just about, can i say something real quick? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like my thing with with that is do you just feel that you know, because not as many people were just enlightened to information and knowledge being readily available, they can just kind of have a unified consciousness, just kind of all believe in one thing. It's like prime example, the reason why it was a rational thought during uh, the Aztec Mayan ages to sacrifice people oh yeah that was crazy you see what i'm saying and it was just a daily part of life because the only one who harbored most of the knowledge of what was actually happening was you know the emperor you know what i'm saying and everyone else is just more of a cog where now because information is flooded to us so much we're more isolated and independent thinkers because we extrapolate different things from different types of information. So you're saying that it's harder for us now to be unified than right. it was back Absolutely. in the days? Absolutely. Yeah, I totally believe that. That's Absolutely. I think we'll be unified in our disdain for each other. Yes. But in in that uh, uh, in that vein, you know, we're going to be isolated. Yeah, and I've said that I, right now. I feel like we're way more isolated now than we are back social. In the day. Yeah, because you don't got a lot of people unless you're going to work with somebody. Right. You are going That's the only to the time club. we right unless it's a group outing, where you plan something, unless you're going to work, you know what I'm saying, or unless like a major disaster a happens. A major disaster happens. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And it's like, can... will people create that just so they can 
get mean? people to come together. Because I can see, like, the events that used to happen when I was kids, they used to be packed. Like, if you was going to a Martin Luther King parade, oh, it was word. packed. You know, right. if you was going to a family event, even in your family short circle, right. you know, everybody shows out. Neighborhood Nowadays, up, it's yeah. like you barely Online. get yeah. anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, nobody even says uh, Black History Month anymore because, again, every day is Black History Month. But at the same time, it's like, you don't really see anything on TV celebrating. Like there is no celebration. Oh, there's there. no celebration of it anymore. So they won't do that. Everything's become mundane and redundant. Yes, and because it's easily accessible to everybody now. Yeah. Just by turning if it don't on make your phone. money, it don't make sense. So yes. If you can't sell Black History, you're not gonna you're see not. it on TV. You're exactly. Gonna, they're gonna take up that ad space with something else. Yep. Like you'll see a small portion of this and that, but they don't really care. Even companies don't care no more. They don't really care about they don't. Mm-hmm. Black History Month. Like, they, don't. they don't. You know what I'm saying? They don't. Yeah, I definitely believe. Yeah, because, I yeah nowadays everybody's so isolated, and it's like, if it don't relate to them, they're not gonna be. There's like even Martin Luther King. You know, the biggest thing about him was everybody got together to take those punishments from the dogs and a fire and right. I, now you're lazy you motherfucker if anything happens black person is gonna walk away and just you know what i'm saying oh that's him you know, right. I'm not gonna, <laughs> yeah yeah sure. no, it's none of my yeah. business i feel that yeah they're not Damn. gonna you know go crazy now nah, or that's... unify each other now right. and do the walks the marches changes right. mm-hmm. so why laws don't get changed now because not a lot of people are going through the same steps that our ancestors and our forefathers have done to Right. Get the laws we have now. So another thing too, if somebody, if there's a death or anybody gets hurt or there's a shooting, we start recording. And now it's like again, our consciousness, most of our consciousness are online. So <laughs> instead of actually going out in the real world and doing something, mm-hmm. all we do is show our support online. Like, yeah. Oh, right. I, I yeah. It post, does. Like or it, it does retweet, nothing. Retweet, it's like oh, this, free, that, free this, yeah. help them do that, no. donate this, and it's How like, does that work? what does that do? It's like, are you going out to the real world and actually trying to make a are change? Are you seeing this? Yeah. Seen those farmers over there in uh, French, French or something like that. Those yeah. French farmers when they when they, they was about to get hit with taxes, mm-hmm. they went and dumped all the fucking manure. And oh yeah, they, they blocked the roads the road. and all that stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah, that. It probably was about fifty farmers, but they got fifty tractors, and that right. shit adds up. Right. You know what no, I'm saying? I feel that. Those fifty farmers probably put a big stop in whatever they was thinking about doing. Uh, to them it's like when a natural disaster happens you know what i'm saying it's like max you'll hear about is two weeks two weeks you know what i'm saying and after that they'll move on to the next or whatever is more important yeah you know what i'm saying it was like when when uh what was it ian came through yeah destroyed the whole area everyone's eyes was down here you know what i'm saying even like in north florida people were worried about and then by two weeks everyone was back to doing what they were doing yeah we still didn't have any restoration. All the process. bodies was covered yeah, up. You bodies. didn't really hear anything yeah, about the still bodies. Had to bodies. The we still had bodies out here and, 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 and whatnot. And that was it. Just two weeks of coverage. You know what I'm saying? And, yep, that was it. You know, people donated the first five, six days. and then. But their their days are going normal. Like, if you watch the TV, they're going on through with their parades right. during Christmas. Yeah. They're doing uh, the Thanksgiving right. thing. Like, they're continuing life like but nothing But can you blame happened. them, though? No, like, I don't. How I, much I get responsibility it. do we put on the individual to care about everything? I, I, but I get it. If right. it's not happening to them, they don't care. And it's understandable because that's how human beings are. Yeah. Right. If it's not happening to them in their own town. Because remember, like you said, oh, when is it... When, when is it um, when when do you think a human being cares about another human being when it happens to them? Happens Nobody to thinks them. about it until it happens to them, until so they don't care. Right. If I'm not in a, let's say, in a crazy uh, disaster, the person in Kentucky is not going to care I'm in a crazy disaster because they're not going through tornadoes. Just like we go through hurricanes, they go through tornadoes. It doesn't affect us when, when they lose their homes or people yeah. die. Just like right. um, for them, when we go through a hurricane, they don't care either. They just go through on with the Do you think life. it's because the internet has limited the scale of how big we think the world is? I feel like it's because the internet has so much bad shit that happens every freaking That's day. That's all it shows. Right. We're so like... You get How do you a, say uh, uh, used to something? Desensitized. You're so desensitized right, because yeah. it's like you're numb to it. Before it's like when there was no information being 
stream to you every day at any point you cannot access like how do we get into is like when with the israel and the palestine and the russia and the um ukraine, ukraine. ukraine thing yeah. like those things were how do i say it? those weren't available to people back in the days who didn't you know newspaper you had to read a newspaper about it and an article about it and someone has to write about it go over there and investigate about it like now it's like it's so quick and instant like anything that's bad in the world you can get so it's like when we do have hurricane Ian that freaking flooded and dev devastated fort myers and then you had a catastrophe uh here and there in canada f the flyers fires back in the days like it's like the internet just it's so fast like it just revolves to the next next problem in the world right so it's like how can you have empathy for people when you're shown literally every day how the worst versions of people you see stuff right. every every day right. about catastrophes and right. deaths and the governments this now you're scared about like you got so much thing that you have to worry about because you're so like like if you live on the internet you'll be fearful of everything right like those people that believe in conspiracies oh my god you know they fear everything because there's so much stuff that happens in the world nowadays it's like now you just think that the government controls everything. That's the biggest control. If you think, right. like, the biggest thing, the biggest control that government can has, if a person think that the government's the one that's doing it. Yeah. Like, if you think that the government's doing it and they you, really aren't, you're giving right, the control to right, the government. Free right, control. Free. Like, if you think I'm, hey, man, Jimmy, did you, like, people blaming on Satan for everything. Like, you're giving, <laughs> you you're giving Satan all the power. Satan's like, oh, shit, damn, now I'm, hey, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. He right. thinks I did this, I didn't do shit. Damn, yeah. like, I get the credit? I get the credit for, for, for you know, losing your job. Like, yeah. yeah, man, yeah, you better be scared, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, like, take your other job. Like, you give you give so much power to right. uh, things that really don't have control. And that's one thing the internet does. Like you, you, you get so worked up of of everything. Like you don't really notice what's in front of you. So, like shit can be happening right under your nose, and you have no idea. What did uh, Snot Dog say? Snot Dog says, "I think a part of being human is having empathy." I get that. It is. I get that. But uh, the biggest issue is people have um, people prefer sympathy more than empathy, and uh, uh, sympathy is our relief in not having the same problems. So they sympathize because it's like, oh, okay, it's not me. It's yeah. not me. It's not me. But the empathy is I, actually understanding. I catch myself doing that too. Right. Well, yeah, for sure. And and we all do that. I'm Imagine not passing lie. by a car accident. You're not going to get out. You're, you're like, just going to be like, oh. No, nah, you're like, let me get by you're before I'm me? late for work. Damn. Yeah. You don't, yeah. You, don't, you don't stop by. Like if someone gets hit right in front of you. But that's the, that's that goes back to what I said. You're if if it's not right happening right. to you, yeah. you're not going to care, and that's how a lot of human the bystander are. effect. The bi yeah, exactly. So you'll say, or you'll tell yourself, "Oh, those cars are going to stop, so I'll just keep going." Someone's yeah, the ambulance. Some, is amb yeah, someone's going to stop, so I'll just keep going. But if it was you in the situation, then you would understand. Oh shit, I did that. Oh, too. I learned that real quick. Yeah, that big ass rock went through my windshield, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like. Oh yeah, and I was literally on the side of the road by myself, bleeding, like mm -hmm. my face bleeding, legs Jesus bleeding. Jesus Christ! No all one over. pulled over. I was like, "Fuck this!" Yeah. I'm calling whoever, you know. Called. You, know you should did. You should took a picture of yourself, put it on the internet, Bruh. Oh, people would have been. Oh I my just, God, are you okay? Oh no, what's going on? Like, I was driving to work, guys. <laughs> nah, he's gonna be looking at it like I can't, a more, thousand views. More, Keep going, oh, viral. More, more people live on the internet than, than they do in reality. So yeah. I could have died today. Yeah, That's you, you can't even commit a crime without somebody going on live, Facebook nah, Live, yeah. Instagram That's Live, crazy, uh, TikTok dude, Live. Like are. now, you have the ability to protect yourself by putting yourself on live and online for, right nothing even, to happen that's what's happening right yeah. even as a form of protection like yeah. online like just witnesses we are witnesses that's it that's tough man we're headed to a weird place bro yes sir future is gonna be different it's like all i can think of is the end result and not how we're gradually gonna get there because everything's such a gray area. I felt like back in the day, you could kind of track the progress of where society, the world is going. Because everything was moving slow. Information wasn't traveling that fast. Yep. You now we're jumping saying? into quantum speed. Quantum. Yeah. yeah everything crazy. is just easy. You know. Imagine that when they get that started. You know, like I'm not. I wasn't even oh, excited. We went back to the moon last week. 
Like we said, yeah, our first even pro, though even though it tipped over, <laughs> right? It, it fell over. Yeah, for the first time in a minute, we sent an actual pro to land on the moon. Yeah, yeah, but the moon is so. Like, yeah, it's really, let's go to the next step. It's not. Well, here's the thing: it's it's only going to be for resources, and of course, you know, it's whatever, a stopping station to the next to the next. Honestly, place. like I said, this is a game, and we are not the players. No. Only the players care about the moon yeah. and what the moon is going to provide for their ultimate goals. Agreed. You see what I'm saying? Because even like driving out here, you know, people's like, oh, the next biggest thing is uh, galactic. Uh, Travel. Not, no. Um, what did Stephen Hawkins and Elon Musk want? They want to. Inter- oh, species. In- inter- uh, inter- interplanetary species. Yeah, they want right. that. Well, gotcha. even driving out here, bro. I don't want to fucking do that. There's so much space. You think you're gonna? You think you're gonna spend nine months on a ship? There is no way <laughs> to no, go bro. to another planet and have nothing, bro. There, nah, bro. there is. I don't believe the myth that people think that this planet would ever be overpopulated. There is no way this planet can be overpopulated, even in Georgia. They only use such a small yeah, so amount. Dumb. It's only Atlanta so out there. What bro. was it? Um, there was a stat that said you could fit all the world's population in, in Alaska, mm-hmm. in Alaska, York. and give them one acre of land. Yep. Oh yeah, <laughs> like bro, yep. imagine um, that's the, crazy. The same, the same way I was driving out here, I saw all this land. Mm-hmm. Imagine what the first. Um, Pioneers of America probably thought. Oh, oh shit! Oh, there's no way we were gonna. Co- now you got freaking fifty states in all of America. Yep, yep. And, and they're, they're still put, not. Full. They had to cut they're through all that. They're still not full. They're there's still not nobody full. in the dude. There's only three hundred fifty million max Americans. Yeah. In the United That's States, yes. Ab- all that or the amount of land, land through, that we have, the amount of land we. They just, they just think that we have to build around cities and we got to live in city. No, you no. can make another city mm-hmm. in the freaking jungle that we have so much of in Florida. You can always well, go into the Everglades. Then again, we have the whole natural preserve. Yeah, it's, we have a, that We're and still a parts. lot of land. Like a lot of right, land. Right, right. So it's like we, there's no way. And then on top of that, the food. You think we're on? Hell no, bro. Nah, bro. They're freaking, they take a piece <laughs> Not with the cloning shit. They just take a piece out of like a chicken leg, like a small piece, and, and they just clone hey, a million of those. So, hey, you know who predicted that a long time ago, right? A lot of Ca- people. Cat Williams, the Mick clone combo for nineteen cents. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you wild. think you're eating the chicken? You're not. You just no. I, that's why I stopped eating chicken. A bunch of million chicken, cells chicken, of yeah. Of chicken tastes one weird. Thing. Yeah. You, you realize chicken more chewy now. Like, yeah. it's, it's way too chewy. I, I don't eat. I that's why I don't eat fast food. I get my chicken from Costco, and it's a rotisserie chain. All chicken, like it's, you, it's they don't the source. They don't clone the whole chicken. We don't that's have original chickens anymore. No. They don't. They don't make a clone of the whole chicken. We're eating the descendants. They make the, of that clone the chicken, chicken meat that you be seeing them chicken nuggets right. and them chicken tenders and all that stuff. Right. That's what you're oh, cloning. It's all fake. No, no, that's baby chicks. They just take a whole bunch of baby chicks. Man, no, bro. They take in the, in, in the lab. They take a piece of the meat. Mm. They put in a little test tube. Yeah, right. And then they clone the shit of that same meat. And it's then the, they put in a, a solution. It's, and then they it's all fucking proliferate. meat. And then it's they just a chicken nugget. The fuck out massive of meat. Meat. I'm talking about when I buy my chicken, my shit, my shit still look like a chicken, like it's a rotisserie chicken. They don't clone that. They don't make a whole different chicken. They make the meat like those. If you eat the chicken nuggets or the chicken patties, or how you much is, does Chick-fil-A, one of them chicken breasts weigh? It's a big ass chicken breast. Probably about. F- I don't know. I don't. I don't. If you I say don't eat chicken breast, four, no, he's talking about rotisserie. Oh, rotisserie. I get. Oh, you get the whole. Ro- I yeah, get the whole. I get the whole. Ch- my shit look like a chicken. Like a normal sized chicken. My shit is a normal sized. Fucking five pound okay. rotisserie. Right, because I've been looking at these rotisserie chickens and I look at a chicken breast and I'm like, what the fuck did this chicken breast? So that's How big was okay, this but that's the steroids. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so don't like use, can't stand up. Yeah, you don't use steroids. I rather if, if 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 I have a choice between clone and steroids. Mm-hmm. I'd rather just go ahead and just take the steroids, nah, bro, because at least I'm going to get big or something. <laughs> I ain't taking... I ain't, absorb absorb I ain't, the protein, man. I'm not eating them chicken nuggets, chicken tenders, fucking <laughs> Chick-fil-A patties. Like, them patties, bro, that's what I'm talking about. It's just a bunch of the meat. Like, itself. you don't even see the, the, the strips of meat, like, when you tear it. It's just, like... 
They just smush it. Smush it down, yeah. yeah they just still, press that's what I'm it. Saying. Yeah. I, you don't know what that is, bro. That's what they're cloning. They're not actually cloning a whole... I thought he's... I used to think they cloned the whole chicken. Well, because like, it's like... The way I... That Simpson shit. Like, I, you just... I, clone, clone, clone. The way I look at it is like bananas, right? Yeah. You know, if you remember, there was a period of time... So, the new bananas that we sell aren't the same bananas. You notice bananas are more and starchy and they but are... they always done that. And, and they're back less in the sweet. Days. But the bananas we used to eat, the ones that were really dark yellow... The... Okay... When you eat a uh, artificially flavored banana flavored candy or Laffy Taffy or whatever, oh, yeah. that's how original bananas used to actually taste. I don't know about that. That's no, original chemical. bananas. No, no, no. It was replicated through chemicals, but that super sweet original banana taste that you like, there's a reason why it tastes like that. Because that's the reference that they had. Like those runts? Right. Like the, the, the uh, Willy Wonka candies? Like the w- Willy Wonka. So like that that weird banana taste, the universal banana taste, the popsicle banana, the banana bread. You know what I'm saying? Notice how none of those ever taste like the actual banana you're eating. They actually used to taste like that. But those bananas were wiped out by like a global disease. Um, if wow. I Yeah, it was. I forgot what they were called. These bananas actually had seeds in them. So, you know, you look at bananas, you see the the five-star black dots, spots. Yeah. <laughs> Though, these bananas actually had seeds in them. They were really dark yellow, and you could only grow them in South and Central America. So, pretty much near the Tropic the tropic of Canada. They used to call that, what, Banana Republic? <laughs> <laughs> you what? Maybe that's, where the, maybe that's where the term comes from. The artificial banana taste is from an extinct species of bananas. Yeah. Exactly. You feel me? So, like... So that species... I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Snow yeah. Dog is popping out I, with that knowledge. I remember, like, eating, like, OG-ass bananas, bro. I remember that my teacher used to always make it go right. brown just to, so it could go sweeter. Sweeter. Like, I used to eat OG bananas. They were, like, dark yellow bananas. Like, these new bananas, they almost highlight or yellow, and then the ends are green. And then you peel it, and it looks dry, and it's starchy. And yeah. It doesn't yeah. have no that taste. Is, yeah. Right. I think that's why I stopped the eating OG bananas. The OG bananas were sweet. They were soft. Like, that's when people could make, like, banana ice cream. Like, if you were lactose intolerant, you could mash the banana and then make, like, a, a ice cream or a frozen treat yeah. out of it. Those were good bananas, but a disease wiped them all out. So what they did was they took the genes, the the, the good genes of, the, of, of, like, another type of banana and yeah. merged it. And essentially created the bananas that we have today. You know what I'm saying? That can withstand this disease and you can grow them in, in uh, high drought risk areas and stuff like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I've, yeah, you, I've you, heard, they, like I said, I've heard they always, like, the concept of GMO was never new because they always, even the carrots, like carrots was never big. Big, like, right. If you look at wild carrots, like if you ever look at route, the wild uh, uh, species, or whatever it is, is always something more smaller, more like, you know what I'm saying? Just, right. just something that you wouldn't even think that it would right. be. Right. Like the carrots is always small, but the genetically modified carrots are bigger. The, giant. the rice is oh, yeah, always sure. black, and white, brownish. Right. You know what I'm saying? The corn right. always be like blue corn, black corn, mm-hmm. yellow. Corn. Like you always see different stuff. But when you genetically modify it and make it more of a hybrid and sustainable to, you know, certain disease, diseases, you know what I'm saying? Like that, right. Maybe you have a certain pesticide that might mm-hmm. get into the crop. Like, those are stuff that I think even the programs were always, like, knowledgeable, knowledgeable about. So, it's like, I can never... I can never really have too many negative things to say about genetically modified. Because it's always been implemented. Like, because in terms always, of just breeding. Well, that's why. Cross pollinating. Yeah, yeah but that's why if around. you were. That's why if you you guys were to go to, like, take your passports, go to other countries and actually taste a natural uh, banana, a natural fruit, a natural um, um, meat in their state, you're going to be like, oh, my God, this tastes different. But is it really natural? That's what I'm that's saying. What I'm saying. Uh, you okay. got to understand. We have eat- so many. Uh, um, what you call it? What do you call them? Vax- vaccines and, and, Pest, yeah. and yeah, and, and pesticides, pesticides okay. and our stuff. Our gut bacteria develops to handle that. So gotcha. anything outside of that, your body's going to reject it. Okay. Regardless if it's natural or. or, or I don't not. think even now, for instance, that how how would you explain natural? Like if I 
buy some seeds from a store and mm -hmm. plant it myself is that natural no because the seeds are the seeds modified. have been yeah they've been modified so you think yeah. that those countries have they're if you're going to a third world country mm -hmm. they're definitely not going to be natural nope because okay. they have no choice but to make sure that the shit that they plant mm -hmm. is going to make a product it's going to survive gotcha. they have no gotcha. they don't have the choice of saying i'm going to what if this so they like, modified no. yeah i'm gonna like, even if you go grass fed to, beef yeah, meanwhile no. you in the sahara bro. that's that american <laughs> shit <laughs> That American, yeah, go to India and be a, But have you seen how <laughs> Indians eat, bro? Oh my god. I'm oh, talking about hands? India. Bro. Like the, the actual street vendors? country, India. Like bro. the street vendors? You yeah, be the one, yeah, but the one, the toes out, feet out, fucking bugs everywhere. The motherfucking, <laughs> yeah, 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 the I, fucking I, I water, the, the buckets. Be, Man, they be, bro, the shit. They, they, their whole head. Oh my they god, bro. <laughs> The hair. I don't know about the looking part. I it's, hope man, they, they do. do. You might. Yeah. Like, what are we even talking bro, about? Oh my god, bro! What I've seen some talk? crazy nah, bro. shit, bro. What you nah. mean? They, they, my bro, feet they, like they watch you catch a cat and skin that bitch right in front of you and put that shit in the dish, and they put their feet in that shit. Put their whole foot, man. And they just bro, be bro. looking at you, bro. It's like we ain't got no onions. They have no choice but to eat it, bro. Like the it's not even food. It's like a soup of guac. Like, it's the absolutely, bro, oh my, I, I think I have a post of it. I'm going to send it to you guys later. And I said, you guys better be thankful, thankful that we live in a country where we are now. Yeah, you yeah. You even complain true. about America. Mm. It's yeah. not, not that okay. okay, so from the beginning, uh, the artificial banana taste is from an extinct species of banana. Uh -huh. So bananas you get from the store now are ripened by gas. Uh, bananas are picked super unripe so they don't spoil during transit. Then they artificially gas the shipment with the ethylene bananas natural produce. Naturally okay. produce. So it ripens faster. Okay. There's a whole public CBT that produce workers have to watch. Damn. I've heard I've heard that um, bars. You're spilling the secrets. The, ba based. The way that McDonald's make their put the French fries. Oh, we don't even go to McDonald's. Oh, is that gutter oil? Is this what Snot Dog is about to bring up? Gutter oil? Have you heard about gutter oil? Like the gutter outside your house? No, I've never heard of gutter oil. What, what is that? Can what, you expand yeah, on can that? Yeah, expand it's on that. Dog. Gutter oil. Never heard of that gutter before. Gutter oil. That's interesting. We're about to learn something new today. That's why I, I think I naturally started to just kind of revolve around organic, at least organic stores like Costco. Like that. there's, bro, if you ever go to Costco, they don't have anything there that's not organic. Like, mm. the shit you're buying is, like, all... Is that what Costco is? Like, compared to Sam's, like, a more... Yeah, it's compared healthier. to Walmart, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Well, remember, they started introducting organic in, in Sam's. Yeah. Okay, so I just so, thought they were just more, like, competitive, like, big box stores. It's a wholesale shit. expensive. It's, like, wholesale, okay. but still expensive. Like, I got you. So, kind of like Whole Foods, but for bulk. Yeah, but bulk, yeah. It's kind of like that. That's why... Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. They that still be having this shit. It's not all on point, though. Not all the time. Like, nah. the oranges sometimes are sour. The apples sometimes aren't sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a hit and miss. But it's like, I kind of go to stores, like, when you buy the actual the chicken breast, right. the chicken that's not actually tissue chicken, mm -hmm. right. like, it's actually organic to a point. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's not like one of those, you know, great value type stuff or... You know, just nasty. That like, chicken rubbery. Don't, yeah, don't. <laughs> that motherfucker like, don't cook through. The eggs are organic. The milk is organic. Like, all that stuff. At least it's organic. You know what I'm saying? Oh, dude. Like, at least the packages are like, you know what I'm saying? I feel that. It's a try. It's attempt. You know? Even the snacks sometimes. Okay, so we got an explanation. So, Snot Dog says, since oil is so expensive in primarily China, people have... Oh, you're talking about that Indian shit I was just talking waste. about. Waste. Yeah. From the sewers. Yeah, that shit's nasty. And used. You what? And it's not. A, it's not like they're hiding it. They know for a fact. That's what's what's going on in your food. But yeah, I would never. What the fuck? That's why. That's why they say all the time. If you're going to a country, make sure you pack your own food. Or do your research. Oh. You never or know don't what eat, eat. Don't eat your entire trip. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if you're going to another country, another place outside of America, 
It ain't gonna be, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, we're gonna get natural food, yeah. Okay, good to know. All natural. All natural. Yeah, all natural. Butter oil, yeah. Parasites and all natural. Mm-hmm. Maggots. Hey, hey, this don't have no, uh, uh, what is it called when you um you put shit in it to protect your food from uh spoiling and shit? Oh, uh, preservatives. Yeah, preservatives. Yeah, 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 there's, absolutely. There's no preservatives, no protection, no nothing. It's all so, natural. So even though we as Americans complain about all the chemical that they put in our yeah. food, it it's somewhat all way the pesticides better, still better than going you go over there you eat a strawberry that bitch got so many fucking parasites in it yeah they they even do that water test where you put the your strawberry right because they use natural That's, fucking yeah. uh, you, manure and in, in, in uh, uh when you when you right. put some coke that coca-cola on your chicken yeah and it starts to have little worm, worms That's come over there that's over there <laughs> that's where that's where you see that you, you know what I'm saying? When you're going over there, you want to start testing out uh, shit. Uh, why did I have the whole <laughs> internet scared? Snot says, why did I come back from this other country with explosives? <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> Diarrhea. Oh, you what? Yeah, explosive. Yeah, exactly. Nah, that's scary. No, that's scary. That's scary. That's scary. Damn. So we can't just be going out here eating, whining and dying. And nah, man. Nothing. Damn. Yeah, that's why. They, that's why a lot of people they be going to Colombia and they're like, oh, we can get a whole course meal oh, yeah, for twenty dollars. See, yep. and that's the crazy thing too. They'll only show you what they want you to see online. See that you, you don't know about all this stuff unless you it's watch all docu- filters, what, filters, yeah. documentaries. Yeah, it's all filtered. But again, that's what the internet is. So that's the crazy thing. So yeah, it's like even till this day, right? You'll still see like documentaries of like resorts and shit on in Haiti. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. the capital's on fire. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, that, yeah. That's the fake Haiti. That's the resorts Haiti. That's the resorts Haiti. Yeah, like every country has a resort. Like yeah. you, you don't go to real Mexico. A tourist spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't go to real Mexico. I'm sorry to say, don't leave Cancun. Don't. Yep. Leave, don't leave the tourist spots, or no, the, no, you're no. gonna get kidnapped. Yeah. Yep. You're done. Yes. You're done. Yes, sir. What the fuck? And if you get kidnapped over there, I don't know if they find it. You... It's like that's like coming over here and saying, "Don't leave Disney World. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave Bush Gardens." Exactly. Shit. Everything you know else is lava. Everything else is no, lava. I feel that. I feel that. But so, do you think? Because I always think about that. Like when American citizens get kidnapped, right? Like, what is the priority in returning that? Oh, account? did you see? Did you see? Um, they just came out. Um, they found they were just arrested over two hundred and thirty people for human trafficking. They, they just found like here over here in America. I just seen it on Instagram. Two hundred. Like was it this and, whole and web it's, thing? And it's including or? coaches, teachers. Oh, that's different. yeah. Two hundred thirty people. I I just <laughs> I literally crazy. just seen it. The white Haiti. That's the white Haiti. <laughs> that's the white Haiti. Hell yeah. You what? That's the Clintons Haiti. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, let me stop. Yeah, I wish I can. That's there's crazy. a lot of stuff I seen today, man. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So like. How did this? How does even start? Like, what, what? I would think you guys knew more than me with the information. No, no, no. You guys nah, like, bro. who broke this news? That's what I'm they saying. They just came out with. I think it was on um, either one of the. I think because I be having like so many news type of uh. Now is this some weird people. Midwestern shit? Bro, it, no, because like, the press release look American. No, 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 Midwestern, like like Montana, North uh, Dakota, it, South bro. Dakota. It's more when you when you get Fuck trafficking, you. it's more in the metropolitan area. Like that's where you find a lot of trafficking at, like in the cities, high fast cities. Like you go to my, how many how many people do you think they traffic out? Oh yeah, Miami, Miami is like yeah. like all these yeah, girls sure. coming down for spring <laughs> break and no walking the dog. city. And that's what's you happening what right saying? now because the spring break is Even starting now. Even to this day, bro. Like instantly, like you yeah. think, you, and then you got all these Even girls the addicted to the fast life. You put yeah. a puppet in there, yeah. have a bunch of money thrown around. You're gonna yeah. get a whole bunch of girls. Come back with me, baby. My hotel's five I stars. Got money. Sugar, I got money, sugar baby. Yeah. I got yeah. You you, you spend a thousand dollars at a club and you got a girl for free. Wow. That's Sh- it, sugar baby. The transactions right there, you can get that thousand dollars back. That's all right. it is for fucking that. sex, bro. In the right. gangs nowadays, you can't run away from a you game. You can't run away from. Can't yeah. run away from a game. That's great. They'll have you. And they found out nowadays, gangs found out it's way more cheaper to sell to prostitute to right. prostitute right. than to sell drugs. Right. Yeah. You can always get your product to, back. To pimp, That's right. true. That's, That's true. Facts. That's why, yeah, gang, uh, what is it used to call it? Gang? And usually what they'll do is they'll keep them addicted to like some form of drug or Opioid, substance. Opioid, yeah. And Opioid. Abuse. Yeah, and then. Uh, oh, they call it gorilla pimping. Right. When they beat, when you, they beat the fuck out of the, the, uh, the girls and force them, they can't do nothing about right. it. 
The girls can't do. They can't go to the police because how are you gonna prove that you got beat? That you got beat. You can't. No, you're right. You got to have proof. Because they always listen full circle. Yeah, and then they 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 and the thing is why the girls can't run away because it's threat. They they know where your family is. Right. Yep. Right. Especially if you got kids. Right. Oh, you you run away. We know your mom's mom's not going nowhere. Mom ain't going. Mom's nowhere. never going nowhere. How She's, quick the police gonna get to your crib before we spray? That's it how, yeah, we're gonna that. kill your mother, kill your son, kill yeah, your family. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So yeah, I mean you when you get these girls trafficking, you spend. Oh, you you got a guy that spends a thousand dollars at a club. Hey, girl, come back with me. Kidnap her ass for a thousand dollars. Now you can get your money yeah. back. Now you get your money the, back. the first night, she, you crazy. can just pimp her out for way more than the that's stack. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, That's human crazy. trafficking is one of, and it's not even it's not gangs either. Remember, governments all play the same right. game. Oh yeah, for right. sure, for sure. Governments playing. Uh, Jeff Epstein, come on now, they're, they're all playing, playing the same. same it's different levels. It's Ain't no taxes. Levels, right. It's Easy money. Levels. Yeah, they they be pumping them out to Colombia and crazy. Haiti and Mexico. They go global Jeez. with it. Yeah, that's what the government do. They kidnap. They kidnap. Uh, not in America. The government doesn't do it in America. They kidnap from other Haiti. Haiti's big. Uh, they, Columbia, they kidnap a lot of girls from Haiti. Was it Philippines? And then they transport them to Thailand. Over there. Yep. Fucking yep. Colombia, the whole inco- economy is off over there. Is Thailand, Thailand, and Colombia? The whole economy is off of prostitution. prostitution. Yeah, that's how the girls make the money. So he went trafficking is big, bro. And they just yeah. busted two hundred and thirty. Mind you, they the feds know what they're doing, bro. They be watching. They always watching. So just to get two hundred and thirty people, but that's the crazy thing. They wait till they they get to a certain level, like you yeah. said, and then they round them up. So it's like people yeah, gotta like suffer to before it. they save them. Right. Oh, found it right here. Only in Florida, and it's in Florida too. Oh, Polk County. Oh uh, shit! Great. Two hundred and thirty. Wow. Two hundred plus arrested in uh, Polk in County. Polk County, dog. And what is going on and out there? Another bro. massive human trafficking bust in Polk County. Right, because that's what happened the first time. Nearly two hundred and thirty people were arrested, with thirteen potential victim rescued during the eight-day multi-agency undercover human trafficking investigation. Dog, it only took them eight days. Making a total eight days. Of Eight victims within a year period. A teacher, coaches, medical professional, wow. law enforcement officers, military members were among those arrested. Forty-one suspect told detective they are married. Holy Jeff shit! Jeff Gray Judd add, also added the focus of federal policy drives illegal immigrant crime and victimization during a news brief, where twenty of those arrests are in the country illegally. So, wow. so they were it was illegal arrests, immigrants. They were illegal immigrants, yeah. Wow. Damn, that's Because that's, that's probably where they trafficking them at. They're probably smuggling right. them out the country. Out the country. It's not wow. Dog says, I think trafficking is a big cruise ship, too. It's big in cruise ships. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the kids. A lot of the kids going. That's why you got to make sure. Right. Yeah, you got to make sure they're with you. Yep. Especially when they dock onto, like, yeah. you know. Once everybody certain... comes off, that's it. Mm-hmm. You're just going to be looking for them. Wow. Yeah, man. So. That happened. So I got a question for you, Jimmy. What up? What is your game plan for the rest of the year? You know, we're already in March, so it's like nine more months to go. What is, what is your goals? What are your what are your aspirations? What do you where are you trying to see yourself by the end of uh, 2024? 2024. What's yes, sir. My vision board looking like? Yes, sir. Um, so go back to college, which I I've checked that off. Oh, really? I've just got accepted. Oh, I just got accepted. Um, <laughs> Hey, congrats, man. Southern Hampshire. Pepsi's paying for all of it. Okay. So I'm I'm going for business administrator. There you go. That's what's up. So That's I gotta move up. up, move up in there. Um, Absolutely. It's not my money. It's Pepsi's yeah, money. Yeah, they pay for all of what? it. What? There you go. We and he's that. going for business, so that's it. We that's love really that. Fine. You already know how to get your LLC and everything that's like that, that, man. Oh, so yeah, that's true, too. Start that. monopolizing. So that's, that's that. Um... Uh, income to six thousand something a month. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? So get back into art. Uh, one, one of Jeff, you already know. Mm-hmm. Um, into art. So I really want to learn sir. more. Uh, get more into uh, artwork. Mm-hmm. Uh, personal training is always on there. Okay. Uh, stay into a consistent schedule. Uh, so basically, like I said before, it's kind of hard for me to 
uh, have a vision for it this year because my goals were so big last year uh, I that right. I kind of like been cruising. They bled into kind of this year, kind of. Well, something? I completed a lot of the goals right. that I had last year, mm-hmm. which kind of like gave me like a hard reset. Like, damn, I got to make up new goals that I have to do. So, like my yeah. my goals are pretty much set for twenty twenty six. Okay. So I have a two okay. instead of having a year goal, I have a two year. Two goal. year goal. Okay. All right. So that is um. Yeah. I'm probably going to be going to Texas. I feel like that makes a lot more sense, right? You're like, moving. You're moving to Texas. You moving yeah. to Texas. Probably okay. going to Texas by the wow. end, of, end of this year as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is that where the school's yes, at, or are you? Oh no, school's online. So oh, okay. Okay. So you can go. So I think you it's can... South. Ham- He's a nomad, Jeff. Ham- he... Hampshire or something like that. Okay, so you're just going to transfer from Pepsi from here over there. Yeah, I'll probably go to okay. Texas because it's a little cheaper. It's cheap. To deliver it's cheap. Over there. More land. Yeah, more opportunities over there. You know what I'm saying? More opportunities. Okay. More yes, fairness. Yep. You know, this is a red state. Texas or is a red state. Texas too. is a red state. But, but it's red in a different way, though. Yeah, That's what one, I always tell people. This one. So you have more opportunities, make right. more connections, right. network yeah. out there. That's, That's what's up. That's be what's able to, yeah, be able to, to get a house in two years. A lot of my credit drops off in two years. Um, That's fire. So, yeah, basically just set myself up and cruise so I don't I don't uh, uh, get into any negative uh, habits. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I basically, that. I just want to make sure that I'm growing and not doing anything that can be a negative impact. Because I feel like that's what a lot of people, that's what happens to a lot of people when they... Uh, get off the mindset or the goal they just slip into negative things that they was doing mm-hmm. so i try to keep myself from doing that by just making sure that I, I have something where i can grow and continue to try to achieve something better right so that's that's pretty much what i've been trying to do now is not get off the, the slope okay that's so what's up man if i can if i can fine. continue to go up you know, and 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 not slide back down, cause there's there's certain things that you can do, like old habits, like spending too much money, mm-hmm. going out too much, mm-hmm. and not working hard, or being lazy, being complacent, watching too much this and that. You know, not giving yourself any type of learning, no investing in yourself. Keep moving, keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Things like that is what gets you complacent. So as long as I'm not going into a uh, downward spiral, spiral mm-hmm. even though I had pretty much checked out a lot of stuff off my list from last year which when you do stuff like when you whenever you make whenever you do something big that you've been really working hard for it's kind of hard to make the next step because like you just you just achieve the whole you're like what's next you put so much you spent so much time thinking about Getting yeah. to this moment. Now it's like, I got it. Now what? Now it's what? Like, yeah, how do you, I got you. How do you get up? Like, if, if you, for instance, if you accomplish, like, if you're playing basketball and you just won a national championship. Right. What's next? Another what's one? Next? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, now it's like, oh, I just won a championship. Now I got really what I really wanted. You know, it's hard for a lot of guys to get that right. next champ or right. go what's higher than a championship. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's not Doc says keep going and keep growing. Keep growing. Yep. Yeah, you got to keep going. And, and that's not how I would do it. Like, I like how he said, um, like, now my goals are taking two years. Like, he's scaling his goals. Yes, because so like, you notice you keep reaching them every every year. Because yeah, so you don't want to make fake goals. Right. You know I feel that. For, for yeah. goals, goals should take a considerable amount of time yeah because there's so much that goes into planning and really kind of establishing a base it's almost like it's almost in a way like investing in stocks right? oh yeah for you sure know what i'm saying like if you if for instance if you take a position right it, it should never be quick you should always study it mm-hmm. make sure that the the price like if for instance if i was looking at a uh pretty popular stock maybe if i was looking at maybe tesla amazon you know those high stocks mm-hmm. you never want to just get into it if you're going to buy up a lot of it, you never want to go into it right away, right? You want to wait till something goes on, something happens, right. till it gets to a fair. If it's too high, like if you're buying a house, if it's too high, you never, it. you don't want to just go into it right away. You want to wait, 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 and then it drops to a specific price that you already set, and it gets there, then you buy. You know what I'm saying? Once you buy that, once you reach that goal, it's like, okay. Now, what do I do now? Well, you don't want to rush into buying another stock right away. You know what I'm saying? You still got to, you know what I'm saying, patiently wait for a good time for 
something to happen for you to get into it. Right. And I feel like that's the same thing with goals. You never really want to just force a goal you're not ready for. Well, yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? I you still got to scale into it. You still got to, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, wait for a perfect opportunity to get into it. Like, for instance, if I say I want to buy a house, mm-hmm. right. I'm not going to buy a house by the end of the year. No. That's, that's of not, not. Yeah, that's I, not realistic. It's not yeah. realistic. Your yeah. credit's not there. Your money's not there. No. But if you can scale into it, say, I want to get my credit right. I want to save a certain right. amount of money by the end of this year. I have this. And then it goes into your goals. You know what right. I'm saying? So that's why I really have more of a two-year goal. But I have small, little goals to keep myself from going down a slippery slope. I feel right. You know that's what I'm saying? Up, so, Sensation. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's what's up, man. We love that. Yeah, I and mean, we're definitely, when you get established um, out there, like settled in, uh, wherever you're at, we'll definitely come and visit you, interview you, and find out where, what are you doing, all that stuff Absolutely. like that. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll definitely, the, the, the thing, the one of the things that my brother and I did say is at anybody that has come through for us, whether it be in any aspect of our lives, we're definitely staying connected with you guys. Oh, yeah, but just, you can always do, like I said, we can, you can always do... The Zoom, yeah. what you did with the the yeah. one guy, the um the artist, I believe, the musician. It'd be better. Uh, It'd give us an excuse to go to Texas too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we never Absolutely. been there, that. so we'll literally just bring all our equipment with us, and then we we can just Texas. yeah, and then you can at least, at least show us around the town and all that stuff yeah. like that too. So when you do get comfortable and all that stuff like that, well, we definitely want to do that. But yeah, no, I get I get the whole Zoom call thing and everything like that. It is a simplistic way of doing it, but oh, and you'll be near Starbase. Yeah. Fucking Elon Musk Space City. I don't think I'll be near it. I think Texas is a big place. No, it's big as shit. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yeah, it is. It's off, of, my it's off of Boca Chica. Well, know. what I heard too is gonna... like, it's like Florida where you have the different accents. Like if you go to Southern Texas, you'll get a Southern accent. And then if you go to Northern Texas, you'll get modern day accents. But it all depends on where you where you. I, I up. think that's what I'm going to do too because I hate traveling. Like anything over two hours is a lot. Yeah, no, I feel so. It. I don't even go like to Tampa, Orlando, Miami. Like, yeah, it's I, gonna I, be bigger. Trains. I don't go. Like, do they have, do they have any trains out there? You got. I'm you sure it is. But that's what I'm saying with the traveling the, part. I'll the tri-state area, or the the megalopolis area, Houston, Dallas, mm-hmm. uh, San Antonio. Yeah, like that's those are what I'm thinking. Huge. I'm thinking about going to Wharton because that's where my guy from Pepsi. He's the GM now, so mm-hmm. he's over there. He runs that place, and he's uh. Black dude, you know, it's really hard when you work at, and this is between us, like, this is really hard when you're working at a place where none of your superiors look like you. Like, it's really tough. I got you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been getting in, I've been getting into a lot of situations where I know that this situation wouldn't have happened if I had a, you know, yeah, a guy black, black supervisor. Like, yeah. it's, it's kind of tough when people don't understand. It's like if you were to go to Georgia, too. Atlanta, yeah, yeah Atlanta. Right. a lot of places up there too. That's, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of black excellence. But I really, I don't know anybody in Georgia. So, I feel it. I feel it. So Texas, and I, I heard Atlanta is kind of, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's getting bad. Yeah, Atlanta it's has a lot sus. of, a lot of. I'm not gonna say anything bad about it, but I heard there's there's a lot of problems in Atlanta that I really don't want to go up there and find okay. out. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying so. Uh, really haven't heard anything bad about Texas, so. That's what I'm, I'm, you know, that's what I'm part Besides of. the border, but, you know. Yeah, but that's, like I said, that's you way what? down there. Yeah, that's <laughs> way to, that's way out there. That's, that's in no man's land yeah, right I'm not going there. down there. That's yeah. in no man's land. You got any questions for Jimmy, Jeff? Do I have any questions? Nah, dude, man, Jimmy, Jimmy's Jimmy, man. Mm. Jimmy always comes, he gives us the word, he gives us some words, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep, for sure. Always gives us nice advice, you know. Love when Jimmy comes on, but uh, no, I think uh, we did. We had a good conversation. What's your final word for uh, anybody that's uh, listening? Any message you want to give out to anybody? Oh me? Oh yes, man. sir. Yes, sir. I don't. I don't have any final words for messages or anything. But man, I want to shout you guys out because <laughs> man. I see every. I see the support coming in. I see Tech people, dog. people tuning in, and that's really uh, something that I really wished for you guys. Right. Like, I appreciate I, you, man. Because you you know how long we've been. Yeah. We yeah. kept going live dry. Man, I love it. Like I yeah. love it because it's like Rickets. It was just me. Like I'll, I'll be there. Like, and I appreciate be, you for tuning yeah. in every single time. Absolutely, and dog. Because yeah. it's like I was like, there's no way these guys are going to be hitting jewels. Like, you guys are really uh, entertainment that I love to listen to. 
while I'm at work. Mind you, Thank I you, mean, brother. we're we're together now, so it's like you know I'm the you know I'm coming in, I'm the mm-hmm. guest or whatever. I feel but it. when you guys are together, man, you guys talk about so much stuff that I really love to listen to. Two oh, brothers awesome. and two people talk about rather it's the new technology, new AI, uh, problems going on, just mm-hmm. everyday life stuff that you guys do, man. College struggles, languages, yeah. like those are the things that I really appreciate you guys doing. So I really, thank you, thank I really, I'm really grateful for your supporters coming in to support you guys. We love them too. Thank yeah. you. Yes, sir. I, I yes, really sir. hope. We love you too, Jimmy, because you're always being here, even right. when you're yes, not. Sir. Slide through, through, through whenever yeah. you want, man. We'll, we'll stop everything just yeah, to man. get you back on. You guys are awesome, bro. So I appreciate everything that you guys have been doing, and I'm glad that you guys have been consistent oh, yeah. and nonstop. Yeah. Yes, sir. Every day. That's we we can talk. Him. You could We him. can talk. Yeah. I don't give up. You can thank him. I don't give up. This man has the will of a thousand sons or something. Yeah, like, bro. Dog, I be in it. I be going through it. I'm just like, dog, I want to. Because even and days. This man's literally just dragging me. Yeah, because even days, like, this when you're like, oh, are we going live? Me. I'm like, no, but we pre-recorded the day before, and it's releasing tonight. That's how we kind of do it. Because I'm like, nah, we're not missing a day. So we got to do it. Yeah, it's I'll not... be home late <laughs> from delivering. I'm just like, all right, let's, let's get this done. Yeah. Something like that. But no, nah, sometimes where it's like, we can't really to get on it we'll try to do like a rewind of like triple j's on triple t (laughs) (laughs) oh snot dog also says them texas winters oh lord the frozen pipes are you ready for that and the and the the electricity i don't like cold because you remember texas their grid is independent from the rest of the rest of the country yeah. yeah Yeah, you man. ready for that, man? You gonna get some cold? I'll, I'll be right, right back in Florida. I guess <laughs> if it ever gets too bad, he's like, "This is temporary. This yeah. is temporary." <laughs> I never hear anything bad. bad. Like, I mean, you, you they'll, they'll probably get a little bit of snow, but it's not like heavy like you get in New York. Yeah, y'all or don't be getting no snow. Michigan snow. or Ohio or anything yeah. like that. Oh, so. That's gonna be different. So now you're gonna be dealing with seasons, but no dry, seasons. but no uh, humidity. Right. Do they have tornadoes? They ain't got tornadoes no, like that. No, not really. Do. No, that's yeah. North Texas. If there's anything bad, my, as soon as my lease is up, I'm <laughs> He's <whack>. like, <laughs> doing that again. Like, I'm out. I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm He's not doing like, this. Why? I'm out. There's one thing I don't fuck with. No. Tornadoes? Cold. Cold? <laughs> oh, none of it. Like, Dog, I can't. I can't, bro. I, My house would probably be very warm and cozy, but outside. He'll become a snowbird. Is yeah, that's, that's what she said. I start a forest fire. Stop Bruh. playing. Stop playing. All right, Jeff. Guys, Jimmy, thank you again for stopping by thank i appreciate you, you for that it's always a um, great time. guys thank you again for joining us at the tabletop if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on tuesdays and thursdays we're on spotify apple Podcasts, pandora deezer tune in iheart radio amazon music and now youtube music we also have our youtube channel one word tabletop topics our triple t's clips channel and our tiktok so if you click on the links it'll take you directly to the episodes and of course we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout don't forget to like subscribe ring the notification bell and of course leave us a comment again guys thank you again for joining us at the tabletop you have a good night weekend evening and day and we'll see you on thursday see ya see ya